you do it. Look, man, I'm serious, okay? I saw this with my own eyes. Oh, I believe you, buddy. I believe you. <laughs> Just tell us a story. Tell us a story. Okay, well, it was last Friday night. I was walking home from the bar. Attention all citizens. This is out of control. station. started this. This is not how I imagined my first day.
Back here ASAP. Are you okay, Marvin? I've got something to show you. It's important. Copy that. I'll be right there. Oh, <laughs> 
Uh, Marvin, I've got a situation here. I'm surrounded by zombies. Marvin, do you copy? Marvin! Damn it!
motherfucker. Part of you at? Uh, I'm just about to fight G1 right now. Um, just finished up uh, RPD1, and now we're gonna fight. Uh, going to fight G1. It's in uh, 20 minutes right now. So far, we're on we're on pace for the uh, the S plus, but. Um, Uh, not my best time ever, though. Um, like, I have better times than standard, but I've taken a couple liquor hits so far this run. But, I don't know, I did a safe just before this fight because, uh, sometimes this doesn't go according to plan. We're gonna hope it goes. No choice. Gotta take it down. So far, it's going according to plan, but I'm used to doing this fight as Claire and her angle is slightly different than Leon's. There it is. Second knife slash. Not a bad fight. Somebody's watching me. Not a bad fight. Not a great fight. It's a I'll take it fight. Uh. Gonna want the handgun ammo though. Slows me down a little bit, but that was a pretty fast G1. Nice. 
Yeah, I'll take that. Take that all day. I mean, if I get to RPD two by half hour. That would be, uh, that'd be huge if we get to RPD2. Uh, oh shit. Drop this off too. Is there anything in here? Let's replace it with an anchor. Whatever. I'm not gonna use it. Not, I mean, I don't know. I think, I mean, six minutes for for underground. I mean, I might hey, be able to. I'm, I'm better at clear underground, but I mean, we'll see. I mean, I think that I don't know. It's like kind of cutscene heavy. You got this, I believe in you. Thank you, man, I appreciate it. We're just trying to go deathless, uh, sub, I want to go sub hour and a half, but to get the requirement, um, I need to go, uh, sub two hours, and then under five saves. And so far I've used one save, and yeah, we're currently at 25 minutes. Four people. What up, everybody? Shit, 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 shit. Uh, I'm supposed to go this way first. Take you. Run in here. Take the shotgun shells. Very important because I'm currently running pretty low on shotgun shells, but. Should be good. But luckily in Leon section, you don't deal with liquors, you deal with dogs, and dogs are a fuck ton easier to deal with than liquors. guys in the cage so we don't have to deal with them when they're outside of the cage. Nice. One clip. Pick up the enhanced handgun ammo or enhanced gunpowder. Excuse me. How many times have I played this game? Dispose of this guy first because I hate dealing with him. This guy's a fucking bullet sponge in hardcore. Fuck. Son of a bitch. Yeah. Fuck it. Fuck it. Oh my god. How many times have I beat this game and I'm still opening the wrong compartment? We're gonna want the flash grenade here, just as a defense item. Hopefully that guy doesn't get back up, but... Um... I don't know, how much time do I have? Okay, 2 minutes 30. Because then both those guys will come alive. I have the diamond key. Head over here. Oh, did I not pick up the crank?
Damn. Damn, damn, damn. What? Yeah, I fucked that up. <sighs> Fuck me, man. It's such a stupid mistake. Oh, I forgot the... I can do that in RPD. I could do that in RPD too, but I forgot to grab the... Uh, rookie assignment. Uh, challenge. Yeah, 20 minutes. We're not gonna go sub half hour. We're not gonna go sub half hour here. Because I made a boneheaded mistake. Fuck me, I can't believe I did that. For some reason I just thought you automatically got it. I don't know why. I don't know, I just haven't played- I've played Claire a lot more than I've played Leon. This means we can't use... Uh... Can I go Diamond Door? I can try. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try Diamond Door. Oh, liquor is easy. You have acid rounds. I so I honestly prefer. Yeah, so so do I. Um, I, I think that like her basement section is easier. I don't like Leon's basement section. It just it just pisses me off. I mean the dogs are better for serving ammo, but like Claire's acid rounds like in hardcore two two direct impacts and then in regular it's just one direct impact. Yeah, I'm at half hour right now. I mean, I'm not going for a world record here, but I just gotta make sure I'm on pace. And the reason I'm doing Leon is because I've already done Claire, uh, Hardcore, S+. Plus. Yeah. Or you have, you, have, you have Flame Rounds too, but... Um, uh, I saved the Flame Rounds for the... Uh, what you call it? Um for the lab, for the, uh, the IVs, because you need to use, uh, you can only use flame rounds on them, or, well, I mean, you can use other things to inflict hits done, but, uh, fuck, gotta remember how to do this puzzle, uh, but, yeah, and then these guys come right here. off. I'm kind of running, running lo a little low on handgun bullets, but uh, I should be good. I should be able to get out of here at least. Fuck, 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 fuck. Not going to deal with it. Not going to deal with it. Flame rounds for G and sewer too. Yeah, 100% necessary. Got stun on it. I don't care. Lucky bit here. Oh, sh fuck me. Such a sloppy basement, man. Ah, uh, crazy sloppy basement. All things considered, made it out alive. You don't really need a, a crazy amount of stuff for G1 or for um, RPD2. Yeah, G, uh, G2, uh, is probably my, my least favorite fight. I don't really know. Um, fuck. Gotta do some inventory arrangement here. Uh, fuck. I have no regular gunpowder. Um, do I use the portable safe for the extra inventory? Probably. Mm. That can stay. Gonna need this. Mag rounds. I don't I don't like the situation I'm currently in though. I feel like uh 
I don't know, I just feel like I'm missing something. Portable safe. Uh, I need the cog. I need the cog. Just, you're so restricted on inventory. Uh, whatever, we'll roll with this for now. I might have to do an extra, an extra item box run, which I'd rather not do, but I think it's inevitable at this point. What am I? Didn't mean to grab that. Come on. Come on. Yeah, I think the, uh... I think it's, uh... Inevitable that I have to do... I'm gonna have to do an extra box run because I don't know, this has been pretty fucking sloppy. Missed a lot of handgun shots. Uh, I mean it's whatever though. I mean I should should be okay. I do need health, but um flash nade, which don't need. Uh, we're gonna go. See, that's just just more shit I can't use. That's the thing. Fuck. Uh, the part of the clock tower is genuinely my least favorite part of the game. Yeah, I fucking hate this section. I fucking hate this section. RPD RPD two is the worst in the game. Especially hardcore, because you're just, you're so limited in inventory. Like, uh, I have to discard this. That's probably, like, my least favorite part about this, is just how, like, inventory restricted you are, and just, like, you're, you know, you're... Like, if I could get RPD2 done in the next 10 minutes, like, like get to 45 minutes, I feel like I'd be good. Use this here. Um, I just don't like the way Leon, I mean, I don't like the way Leon's run in this area flows, because in Claire's, you already have the heart key at this point, so you can already grab the box, which I completely forgot about. Oh wait, I, there's an item box outside. Okay, this should be fine. But Leon's run, it's like you have to you have to get the club key, and then you have to risk your life running back down to get the box. Because I'm still gonna go mag in this run, which because I feel like I have to. Like I feel like I have to go mag just for the simple fact that like, um like G3 is a thing and at least for the first section of G G3 you need the mag fuck me man I have to burn my safety defense item whatever I mean I'd rather I'd rather use it than die because that would have killed me I'm playing risky as hell right now uh I need this. I also need the scepter. Uh, we're gonna put away the Matilda. Um, we're gonna go hand grenade, and then need scepter. So, actually, no, can't can't go hand grenade, unfortunately. Oh wait, don't need handgun ammo on me anymore. So, we can go scepter. I have so much anxiety, Mr. X. Yeah, see, I've played this game so much that, like, Mr. X, like, as long as, like, I keep him in the pattern, like, that I know what he's gonna do, I'm okay. But, like, once I don't know where he is, oh my god, I, like, pissed my pants. Fuck! Uh... Well, I was boneheaded.
Yeah, Mr. X is he's like no matter how many times I play this game, like he's still scary. Like he he's still scary. I'm gonna try ah uh, there's a trick that I might I might risk doing. I don't know. It'll save like thirty seconds if I can do it. I think I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna try. If I get it, it'll be my first time pulling it off. And I man, I'm forgetting to do everything. I didn't flip the switch either. I also really wish I had a flash grenade on me, because Mr. X could be a bitch here and not I don't know, it's the part like where you go down to grab the box is like the part that's gonna be Alright, we're gonna see how this goes. Wish me luck. Hopefully So you bait a swing here. Jesus Christ! Ah, oh, fuck it. Nope. Not worth it. Not worth it. We're gonna do Yeah, we're just gonna do it the old fashioned way. Not worth it. I'd rather have my life. Because I also I'm I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to eat a shot when I go to the basement anyway, so I hate having to get the box, it's so annoying. You can't just get in one swoop. So, I mean, there's a chance that I lose him and he doesn't, he turns around here, but it usually doesn't happen. At least not as fast as it. Oh my god, that reminds me, I recently did an Inferno run for the plat so I platinum. I have this game and uh Resident uh and Resident Evil 3 remake platinum and Resident Evil 3 fucking uh Nemesis on Nightmare is or not Nightmare Inferno is holy shit. Yeah, he's right here. Yep, I fucking knew I was going to take a hit here. Yeah, so at least I knew that was going to happen. Nemesis, though, especially, I mean, you have to be able to master perfect dodge. You just have to. If you don't have perfect dodge mastered, like, you're just fucked. Well, wait a second. Nemesis, I mean, he's relentless. He's fucking relentless. 41 minutes. Man, it's kind of going to be close if I'm going to be able to get the S+. Plus. <laughs> fucking relentless. There's parts where I was stuck on and having to reload, like, so many times. I have second anxiety watching hardcore Resident Evil 2 and 3. Yeah, in fact, I only like recently started being able to like uh, truly run this game. Like, because I used to get like, I used to get so fucking scared. Oh my god. Not that I don't anymore, but. Because I still do get scared, especially when I don't know where Nemesis is. Because once I leave this, once I leave the stars room, I have no idea where he is. Like right from the second I enter this room, I have no idea where he is now. This is also the hardest part of the run right here. At least for me, this is the biggest chokehold of the run. Or biggest, biggest choke point of the run, I should say. Also, what the fuck am I doing? Um. So, grab the lightning hawk, and then can I pick this back up? Yeah, I can pick it back up. Okay. So I gotta solve these. How many guesses? Take. 
take your guesses on how long each of these are going to take me to solve. Not off to a good start. Okay. Oh, okay, here we go. Nice. Four minutes and 50, 56 seconds. Okay. Let's go. Alright. I kind of got lucky on that one. That took me about... Let's see. I'll call that... I'll call that a minute. So then we're at 43.25. Okay, so like 46 minutes I have to get it done by. I have to get this one done by. Wait a second. Fuck. How'd it go again? Damn it. Oh. Fuck me. Wait. Oh, here we go. Yeah. So it's this? No, it's not? Fuck. Must be this? No! No! Fuck. Uh... There it is. Okay. Might have got it done in time. 44, 33. Or 36. Got it done in time. Alright. Pray to God he's not here. I have no idea where he is. There's a strat that you can, like, listen to where he is. But I just kind of YOLO it. I also have to start walking here because of the liquor. Okay. Walk. Walk. No. 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 Okay. Nice. Nice. Okay. That was scary as fuck. 2 0. Oh. Okay. Well, I mean, got the side pack. Oh, shit. Do I get an item box? Mother. Oh my god, I'm literally solving this puzzle right in front of him. Well, I mean, this is kind of scary. By a little scary, I mean, like, I'm freaking out. Hey, buddy. Hey, don't speed up on me now. Don't speed up on me. <laughs> Alright, um... I'm gonna take I'm gonna pick this up for safety. I don't trust it. Don't trust it. Motherfucker. See, this is why I didn't trust it. This is why I didn't trust it. That's why I didn't trust it. This is why I didn't trust it, guys. Fuck, don't need that. Okay. Nade. Alright. Time for Alright, almost made it through. Not not very cleanly, I'll add, but you know. Oh, he's coming. I think I think it's just music freaks me out. Like the theme oh, I know. It's stressing me out, like you can tell when he gets close. Fuck! You're fucking with me. You're fucking with me. If I get grabbed here, I'm fucked. Where's the liquor? Where's the liquor? Where's the liquor? Oh my god. That's crazy luck. That's crazy RNG. Oh my god. 
Okay. Alright. All we have to do... Get to the clock tower. Get back to an item box. Yeah, I have to stop at an item box. Damn. Fuck. I hate this part. Hardcore? No infinite ammo? It's difficult, man. It's fucking difficult. Which I think... I don't know, I think I'm probably off pace now, which kind of sucks. I mean, it's still a decent run. It's that requires a lot of practice, though. It's just, like, Claire's grenade launcher makes this, like, absurd, like, like way, 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 way easier. Like, I'm at 48 minutes right now. Not terrible. No. Pop my head. Oh, you're... Okay. The fact that I almost died to that shit. I hope he's dead. I know he's not, but one can hope. One can hope that he's dead, even though I know he's not. This is pretty much the last segment where, I mean, I mean, technically, there's like another, there's technically two more Mr. X sections, like the one. This game is so much more, so much more fun to watch than play it. Getting chased in circles because I don't know this game well. So many items to manage. Yeah, it is crazy amount of amount of items to manage because especially when you play hardcore, you don't have as much inventory slots as you do in standard. Um, it's like I don't know. I've literally I've had to beat this game so many times to to get to like. Not, I'm like I'm not even going that fast. Just to like this. to know what items I need at what time. Doing this game, um, no, uh, what you call it, no, no inventory box is what really helped me learn the, uh, learn, like, wh like when you need items, mainly. Um, yeah, 15 minutes. Not, not terrible, like I said before. Where's Mr. X? Uh, I don't like this. I don't know where he is. Well, chat, looks like we're gonna go in. Let's hope we don't run into him. What's the odds we run into him? Let me know. Oh, you hear it? He's around here. He's on the same floor as me. Six to ten. Don't grab me. Don't grab me. Fifty fifty. Well, so far I haven't ran into him yet. I think I think we're in the clear, fellas. I think we're in the clear. Um, grab this, uh, put this away, grab the Matilda, put this away, grab, actually, you either run in or you don't, yeah, I think I got, I think I got lucky there, guys, I think, I think we got lucky, because... I think we're good. I think we're in the clear. I think we're in the clear. Um, we have some dogs here. Um, we're gonna do a little inventory rearranging here. This section, I fucking hate the dogs here. Alright, so we made it out of RPD2 only running into him once. So we're gonna. Jesus. Did I get the clat? 
Didn't get the clap. Did I? I think I might have tagged him. Huge. 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 Beautiful dogs. Let's go. Alright, this is probably... This is like the last really hard Mr. X encounter right here. Because one of the labs is not very hard. But I, I should be fine here. Dogs, liquors with Claire. Liquors with Claire clears all day long. Liquors with Claire is so much better. Because the liquors, you have the grenade launcher. That's the thing. Like You have the grenade launcher. Grenade launcher just makes it inf infinitely easier. It's, li it's the best weapon in these games, is that grenade launcher. Alright. Predictions on how fast I complete this puzzle. Because I don't know the solution to it. By, by heart. Uh, shit. Shit. Um, this? No? No? Four minutes because I always have to look up a guy for it. Let's see. I have an idea of how to do it, so. There's one of it. There we go. 99 seconds? Hey, I think I got you guys both beat. Let's go. Yeah, I'm gonna take that first aid spray because I do not trust this. Oh boy, here we go. All right, um, let's see, do I die here? How? Uh, I've done that puzzle a good amount of times, let's just say that. All right, last hard Mr. X section right here. Um. Pretty much you just have to bait a punch here and then throw a grenade. So give me a break. Oh, I baited the punch too early. Shit. Shit shit shit. Fuck. 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 Oh shit. Oh my god. How did I do that? Oh my god. How did I do that? How did I do that? Oh my god. How did I do that? Run, run, run! Oh my god, how'd I do that? How'd I do that? Okay. First time I did it, I giggled so much because I, I laugh when I get scared. Oh my god. That was, that was scary. I don't, I don't know how I got away with that without having to use the item. I just like, did like some quick time event. I thought I was playing Resident Evil 3 for a second. Nice. All right, so finished RPD two. Now we have Ada section and then sewers and laboratory. Wow, that scared me. That's never happened before. He got like I don't know if you guys caught that. He got caught on something. Like like he got caught on like the the wall. What exactly are you looking for? More info on the people responsible. That was bizarre. I've never had that happen before. Roads out. Take Go your time, Ada. Like Take your time. Away. Not in a hurry or anything. Gee, I w chat. Do do you wonder if the road's out? Huh? What do you, what do you guys think? You guys think the road's out? I don't know. Let me know. I wasn't I wasn't sure if the road was out or not. Yes. All right, got the upgraded, upgraded shotgun. What up, Kendo? I'm very sorry about your daughter. Heard of the Umbrella Corporation? I don't know, Chad. Have you heard of the Umbrella Corporation? I don't know. They have a virus. It turns people into indestructible monsters. That explains the horrible things. It pisses me so much every time, every time the. She's in the game. Yeah, same. Same. Like, she takes too long. She takes... You can take one hit as Ada. Like, you can take one hit and you're dead. Like... Based on what you've said, 
She just like states the obvious and everything and just takes forever. Like she's just dragging she's just dragging me behind right now. Like where is where even is she? Can't imagine a real scientist being down here. According to HQ, this leads right into Umbrella's secret facility. Come on. Sewers are run by the city. Yeah, no, How literally. Could they have a Freaking without the authorities knowing. Welcome to corporate America. Umbrella's controlled raccoon city. Jesus. Alright guys, alligator fight. An earthquake? I sure First action in RE6 is good though. You know, crazy thing guys, never played RE6. I've platinumed RE3, what RE2. I've, I've beat RE1, RE0, RE7, RE8. Pretty much every, uh, Code Veronica. Pretty much every Resident Evil game. But I never played 6. Never got around to it. Alright, do I die here guys? Do I die here? That's a question. Do I save here? Do I use one of my saves ahead of alligator? Again? It's not too late to turn back, Leon. No chance. You're stuck with me to the end. You know what? Oh, guess it's too late. Alright, you know what? I'll look at chat in one second, guys. Gotta focus up on this. Can't afford a death here. Chomp, extra chomp. I think we're the clear, guys. See you next time, buddy. Uh, like, oh my god, I'm such a Chew mysterious girl <laughs> who can do anything. I'm working for horrible people despite the fact I can leave. <laughs> but I have to be an asshole to everyone I meet. That's so facts. Yeah, it's so facts. Like, seriously. Like, she plays Leon. Like, Leon, plays I'm Leon here. in this game. Like, she's a dick. What like, she works for was? fucking Wesker in, in Resident Evil here. 4. Like... And then, like, I don't, I don't enjoy playing as her either. Can't like, say I, didn't warn you. like you I never, I never even played separate ways on, on Resident Evil 4. Like, I never got around to it because I just didn't have any, any desire. Look, just fucking dragging behind. So I have to wait in this elevator. This is the shit I'm talking about. But like, I never got around to uh, playing like separate ways or anything because I had no interest in playing as Ada. I didn't. You want to like see like you want to hurry the fuck off like so let me get this straight just sitting there umbrella sells monsters like that to who let me know guys how much do you think how much Somebody time do you think Ada wastes they don't sell the monsters they sell the viruses that make them and Annette is who makes the viruses for real like all the scary is that the AI shit which you know yeah fuck that dangerous. fuck that hell no hell no uh, I'm gonna save here though, because um, I'm gonna use one of my saves here because I don't, I don't trust me not dying in Ada section. So let's see. Uh, I haven't done Ada section in a while, so let's hope that I still remember how to do it. But that's why I'm gonna use a save here you can because. Run, Annette, but you can't hide. Anyway, um, Cleon, yo. I can get behind that, 100%, 100%. I can get behind that. I don't really know who else, like, I'd really, I'd really get behind, though. I mean, especially this game. This game, Claire and Leon, like, it's, I can see them way, like, together way more than I could in the original. I guess like upgraded graphics and shit, but like, but it just felt like they had like way more of a like, connection. You know what I mean? Like especially at the end of the game with like Sherry, yeah. Like, I just like the relationship way more. Okay, do I die here is a question. So far, I've gotten no deaths. Which is the goal as of right now, is to go deathless. But 
It's not going to be easy. Like, just look at the way she runs. Like, she runs like an NPC. RE2 and Infinite Darkness. Clean. So can. Facts. Facts, facts, facts. Uh, where is it? Alright, so. I hate her gun. I hate her gun. See, like, where's the hit stuff? Okay, you're dead. At least I hope- I think you're dead. Don't worry, her gun hates you too. Real shit. Oh, I got stunned here. Run. Alright, and I actually just flashed the last one. Alright. Pretty clean section. Pretty clean section. Although, this is the part that always stresses me the fuck out. Because I, it, like, if you don't go fast, like Mr. X is on your ass. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, I'm so fucked. We're fucked. We're fucked. I think we're fucked. He's like right behind me. Oh, he's right behind me. Oh, he's right behind me. We got out of there, guys. We got out of there. Alright, now I lied. That is the last hard Mr. X section. See, it's just like, I don't know, Sherry section? You're defenseless, and it's kind of like a. Uh, like hide and like hide and defense section, you know, but I don't know. I think I do prefer Sherry section. Bravo. Gonna burn me alive now. Gonna burn me You'll alive now. Your filthy hands on the G. I'm not the only one after it. You realize that. You do realize that. And you won't die alone. All right. I love Sherry Stephen because it's funny to watch Iron gets hurt. You know, that is so true. Fuck Chief Irons. There are some funny ass mods where you can make Irons like look like Barney. Or like you can make him like just like some stupid and they are so funny like just Barney running after you and it's just it's just not Sherry or er, it's not Ada section so it's it's a win not gonna happen at least we have Leon back now in about 20 seconds Welcome back, Leon. Ada? Where are Ada? you? Ada? Where are you? Gee, Leon, I don't know. Now I wish I didn't save there because I wish I had it saved, but or I wish I had an extra one, but what can you do, right? I got three grenades, though, which you need for this section. This is my least favorite section of the game, though. I am not a fan of sewers. This or RPD2 is my least favorite. I like labs. I like nest. I like RPD1. That's a pleasant smell. But I don't like. I don't like underground either. Gets mad at Claire for child endangerment. Even an hour later, tries to kill Sherry. <laughs> Yeah, so true, man. Fuck irons. Literally, fuck irons.
Well, he's a, I mean, he's a terrible person. Like, he killed the, the one girl, like, what was her name? The, the lady? Like, the daughter of somebody? There is a G adult here, right? I'm not tripping. No? Could have swore there's a G adult here. No, don't want it. Fuck. Come on. Come on. And his hunting journal, like that shit, maybe pause for a second. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I should have read that file, Lie of the Chance. Um, in his office? Yeah, he's fucking. He's fucked up, but like, he's a fucked up dude. I mean, he's like a good, he's a good, uh, secondary antagonist, though. I will admit that, he made a good secondary antagonist. You dead? No. Now you're dead. Without a question, you're dead. If you're not, well, guess it's on me. Grab the knife here. So, letting you guys know this now, I don't kill G adults. I do not kill G adults. I only use defense items, so. You guys are gonna see how I handle this. I either bait, I either bait the attack or use defense items. Because these things are just a waste of ammo to kill. Just a waste of fucking ammo. What the hell? So, like, why waste ammo when you can just use do that and use one combat knife and never have to deal with it again? Like, you know what I'm saying, guys? Cable car. This section I always use a grenade because it's just the most the most efficient way I found is to just use a grenade here. So disturbing to me how they um I don't know why. Yeah. No, that's that's facts. Where'd she go? Oh wait. Hmm. Well I guess it's only in Claire there's enemy here. That's weird. Anyway. I, I don't like the G adults though. I just that's why I just choose I choose to avoid them. Like I'm coming, Ada. I'm coming, Ada. Like you got played, man. You got played. Usually I burn a save here, but I'm probably gonna burn saves. I don't know where. Where do you think I should burn saves? G adults and G two such a fight. Especially as Leon. Especially as Leon. Uh, okay, I'm coming to the realization I'm not going to be good on time, but I guess this is just a deathless... a deathless run of hardcore deathless Leon run. But see, that's the thing. That's why I choose not to fight G adults. It, it's just, it's not worth the the time and ammo. It just isn't. Take the map, bestie. I should have took the map, but see, I don't know. Maybe remind me when I get back there. Take the map because usually I don't take maps because I just have an idea of where everything is. But if you remind me, I shall take it when I get back. What's up, buddy? Do I risk trying to get the crit? No. No, I won't. Two, twelve, eight. I forgot what this is for Leon. Oh, it's the uh, the stock. Sick. Cause I know for Claire it's the uh, the mag attachment. Ugh, these guys. 
This is where I probably use a good deal of my. Oh, you mother! Oh no, this is not good. Not good. Not good. Not good. Okay. All right, we're hurt. We're very hurt. We're very hurt. See? This is why we pick up health items from time to time. I'm actually, I'm going to save this just in case I get poisoned. But that was scary. That was scary. And eh, fuck you. Oh my god, I pissed my, damn, you pissed my pants there. I forget that the enemies are in slightly different spots, whether you're playing Leon or Claire. Because that guy is not that close in Claire. Fucking annoying. But it's whatever. I mean, that's why we, that's why we carry health items. For the, the, like, just to be safe, you know. Grab the sewer key. I don't know, like, my biggest concern is just the Gia dolls, like, I don't know, since we're, since I'm running low on time, I'm probably going to go through RPD-3, usually if I'm doing, like, a full speed run, I skip RPD-3, but I'm going to go back, just so I can pick up a, a few cute key items, um, take the high grade gunpowder here. We definitely bypass this guy. But fuck. Bypass him. I said bypass him. Yes. Bypass him. What outfit do you have on Claire? Uh, I have uh, Noir on Claire. But I have Noir on both right now. But I might switch. I, know, I usually, I actually usually run our Clay Sheriff on Liam and Noir on Claire. Because the Noir outfit on Claire is the coolest thing to ever exist. I love Claire Noir outfit. I think it's so badass. Um, also Elza Walker. Elza Walker is cool too, but um, not using Elza Walker right now. So So I have to make some inventory space here, so I'm gonna use both use this on both the doors, then discard it, and then we're gonna turn around. We're going to check out this optimization here, guys. Check out this optimization. You're not ready for this. So discard the key. Come over here, grab the ammo, I clips big enough that I can reload it, still keep the inventory space. Okay, all right, we're cooking. Head over here, grab the high-grade gunpowder, combine it with the sh with the other gunpowder. Combine those, get an extra storage space. Okay, then we're gonna grab the plug. Head in here, grab this gunpowder. Optimization. Time for RPD, RPD three, RPD three. I have to come back for that. Can't grab that right now. Cannot grab that right now. Can't grab that either. Damn, we're stacking these hand grenades though. Hopefully, I can save some of these for uh, uh, Super Tyrant. Um, but I use. I use most of my hand grenades just for for defense in this section because I don't, I just don't like dealing with um, the G adults. It's, they take like four magnum shots on hardcore or something ridiculous like that. Uh, actually, take this out. Put the plug away. Put these hand grenades away. Take the hand. Okay. Then, um, USB key dongle. Grab the lightning hawk. Grab the lightning hawk. Uh. 
sick. Head back downstairs. Um, and then we're gonna go grab the part for the lightning hawk in here. And then we're also gonna grab those. Uh, God, magnum ammo downstairs as well, so I can just store it away. And then we're gonna go develop the film, grab the Leon buys stuff from TikTok shop. I bet you, I bet you didn't know that. I didn't know that actually. Come on, he buys stuff from TikTok shop. Can we get some deals on there? <laughs> Man. Uh, and then we're gonna go grab. There's more mag ammo that I missed in um, RPD one and two, actually. So we're gonna go grab that as well. Now we got old lightning horn. He bought. Sherry, the Shadow Work Journal, 75% off. Yo, 75% off's a deal, though. Like, can't we can't judge there. It's a deal. Like, I know I'm not complaining about 75% off. We're gonna say what up to Marvin. What up, brother? Marvin. But we're not gonna no. kill him, because Marvin is a waste of ammo. Uh, do I grab these handgun bullets? I mean, I might as well. I mean, I'm not really going for speed anymore. I'm kind of just going for efficiency slash safety strats. So, kind of running low on Matilda ammo. So, might as well grab it. First things. Ooh, I'll take the gunpowder because I'll eventually need it. Actually, there's more gunpowder in here. Do I combine or make handgun ammo? Hmm. I'll come back to that. I have to take this way, because I did not kill the liquor in the hallway down there. But see, if I was playing Claire, guess what? That liquor's dead, because I have acid rounds. So the shotgun, it just doesn't kill fast enough. That's why I hate dealing with liquor so much. Like... Everything like that's why I believe Leon is the harder playthrough. In my opinion, it goes um, it goes Leon A or no Leon B, Claire B, Leon A, Claire A, in in order of difficulty. Like Claire A is, is easiest, Leon B is hardest. And I don't think very many people would argue that. Because Leon is objectively the harder playthrough. This is actually my first time entering this room in the whole run. At least I think it is. Yeah. This herb's still here. Uh, Develop the hiding place film. Let's go. Uh, What's in here? Is it ink ribbon? It is ink ribbon. More gunpowder. Yeah, so... I guess I answered my question. So I can go grab the other... Other gunpowder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'll grab this green herb as well. The question is... I'll have you guys answer this for me. Do I grab both hiding place spots? Or do I just grab... Or do I just grab the one in here? Let me know. Because the other one is fuel, which could be useful, but it's not required. This, though, I always grab this because laser sight. Just one? Ooh, just, ooh okay. Just going just one. I will let everyone decide. There's currently four people in the chat. I shall let everyone have a vote. We have, we are equality here.
Plan to use the fuel and just get both? Okay, we're one. We're one one right now. What up, Marvin? Uh, put this away. I have, I do have more high grade gunpowder. I was stacking up this high grade gunpowder. Holy shit, we got a surplus of shotgun shells right now. We're killing it. It just gave me the prompt on how to craft things. You guys think I've I've crafted anything? I, anything yet? I don't know. Hmm. Uh. Feeling the cafeteria, so you just skip it here. That's true. But I think I think I will grab it, just because. Just because I would rather rather play it safe. I didn't realize how close we were. So, we're just going to grab it really fast. Although, I will definitely grab... Is this guy still in here? Take the ammo, then. <laughs> this guy must have just despawned. Oh, Marvin. What up, buddy? Alright, time to finish up sewers, which we're going to put away this, this, and then this should be good. Uh, we're going to need the grenades. No, fuck. We're just going to, we're just going to go shotgun here because we grabbed the flamethrower and I don't want, yeah. Also, I have to use flamethrower for G2, and you don't have the regulator. You don't have the regulator in, um, when you fight G2, so, um, that's why I need the fuel for. I just, just remembered that. We're definitely going to burn one of our saves before G2, though, because, um, G2 has killed me multiple times. Also, the thing about the grenade launcher is it inflicts hit stun too. Not the shotgun isn't guaranteed hit stun. So That's the thing. Shotgun is not guaranteed hit stun. All right. So, I have 5 grenades. How many times do I get grabbed from G adults? How many times do I get grabbed by G adults? That is the question of the day. I have five grenades. How many do I end with? My prediction is two. Three equals magic number. Alright, alright, so I, okay, do I use, do I use three, or do I end with three? Because that was actually pretty much what my prediction was. So as I predict I'm going to use three. Alright, here we go. This is, this is where we're going to find out. Do I grab herb? I'll grab herb. We're trying not to get poisoned. Oh my God, what the hell was that? I don't know, Leon. What was that? All right, here we go. First, first section. All right, that's one grab. All right, we're at one grab, chat. One grab. Does this guy grab us? No. We avoid him. Okay. One grab. One grab so far. 
Interesting. Sitting at one grab. Definitely thought would have got grabbed a second time. But if Christopher, you predicted three. So if we end with three, you'd be correct. So if I get if I use one more, then you are correct. I remember this puzzle used I used to this puzzle used to trip me up so bad. I used to be so bad at this puzzle even though it's so simple. This puzzle is actually so simple and it used to trip me up every time. As I say that I fuck up. Good job, Colin. Good job. Da na 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 Flank door. Alright, let's try this again, shall we? Queen plug. Then we go king plug. I missed the king plug my first run and ran back and forth six times. That's brutal. That is brutal. Um, I knew I had to grab it because I think I watched a guide, but I was probably in this room for 30 minutes. Even though the solution is so simple. But missing, oh, missing the king plug. Alright. How many times do I get grabbed on the way back? Okay, this guy's in my way. There's no way I can pass this guy. Oh, what? <laughs> I'll take it. I will take it. No questions asked. Well, chat, we got hit one time. That's pretty surprising. That was a pretty clean section, actually. Very clean section, actually. Sweet. All right, guys. G2. G2 coming up. Let me get some predictions for how I do on G2. RNG run god. You know what? I'll take it. I've I've never had RNG quite like that. That was crazy. Oh, map. I did remember this time. I remembered. Grab the map for you. Well, uh that thoroughly uh thoroughly shocked me on how they just went. Yo. Yo, what up, Vapable? What up, brother? How you doing, man? Glad to see you in the stream, bro. Um, king, queen. A little bit of a different pace uh, today. King, queen. Pawn stays the same. Bishop. Rook. night sweet hope you're doing good tonight uh my man faithful hope you're doing good okay almost there Ada. all right predictions on g2 everyone predictions on g2 will i fail miserably or do i complete it that is the question today we are going to save we're going to save 100 percent because that would fucking suck if i died Flawless victory? Oh, oh, flawless. Okay. Go, girl, kick his ass. <laughs> Bet. Let's go. Let's go. You guys have uh, given me extreme confidence going into this. So, flawless means I take that as no damage. 
So we're gonna try to go no damage for you. And I got the map. I have the power of the map as well. I think we got this. Uh, the solution is there's just this, right? No, this, no. Uh, this, this. Johnny Cage is the only flaw of victory. Sorry, Johnny Cage. Is the only <laughs> All right, here we go. Jesus Christ! All right. This is a little trick if you didn't know, chat. Oh, I didn't bring any Magnum ammo. Well, we're gonna be relying on the shotgun a little bit more than I'd like. Forgot to bring the Magnum ammo. That's awkward. Five people in here? Yo, what is up, everybody? I do appreciate everyone showing out. I really do. We're gonna roast him to about 200 here. All right, pick up the Magnum ammo. Oh shit, I'm getting hit here. I'm getting hit. I'm getting hit. Fuck. We're good. We're good. I'm good. Damn it. Then I can use the crane. Not exactly a now flawless victory, you. but hey, you know what? <laughs> I'll take it. Uh pop one more shot and do it for good measure. Two shotgun, three shotgun shells. And I'll see you in the next one. Not flawless, like the last of but I did go deathless, so. That was a, not a bad fight, especially considering I forgot uh, Magnum Ammo. I'll take it. I'll take it, because I definitely didn't mean to just take, to not take any Magnum Ammo. Also, here's everybody's favorite character. A wounded Ada, even better, and a wounded Ada. Nice. Where'd you get that? Borrowed it. Anyway, Borrowed it. Shut up. You didn't do shit. You. He was right. Look at her. how far behind is she? We. She. We see this right now. When did she open the door? Let's see. Why did she open the door? That. Ah. Can you believe this? Just a nuisance. Let me carry you. Let me carry you, Leon. You don't. You don't. It's not your job, buddy. Go sit down. Go sit down. Let the adults handle this. This may be a one-way ride, so be prepared, Leon. So be prepared, Leon. Shut up. That's why I don't like her. Get the ID bracelet. And we're in the final section of the game. Uh, let's go. Let's go, everybody. Final stretch here. So, the nest is an interesting area for me. Sit down, be humble. <laughs> Welcome to Nest. Enjoy your visit. Okay. 
I wonder where the G virus is. I wonder the same thing, Leon. Oh, I'll grab Matt for you. My favorite part because of the signal modulator thing? Facts, I fuck with the signal modulator. I think it's a great addition. And uh, we're gonna put put you away. We're going to grab the mag ammo. Put the mag ammo away. Grab the Matilda. Grab the shotgun shells. And is that it? I think we're good. And let's move out. Let's see. Let's see how this section goes. I hope it goes. Hey, buddy. Oh, nice. Set you right back down. I think I'm gonna pop her. Oh. Can't forget. No! Okay, all of a sudden, everything changes. I have to be. No! No! Owie. Ouch. Don't know how that happened. That was a blunder. Well, this means... Luckily I saved at G2. This just means we have to redo G2. Um, sets me back about... Five minutes. Hmm. That sucked. Sorry about that, everybody. That did not go according to plan. Did not go according to plan whatsoever. That sucked. Okay. Let's forget that happened. Let's, let's forget that happened. All right, let's redo G2. Ugh, it's so annoying. That was just a stupid death on my part. I wasn't paying attention. A bit of the ultra violence. Yeah. Oh, stream's getting demonetized. <laughs> stream's getting taken down. <laughs> Streams getting taken down for that one. YouTube said, nope, this violates terms and services. Jesus Christ! Not die again. How about that? It's still alive. I feel weird because now I've, I've used all my commentary up. Oh, he's right on my ass. Trying 
focus up here. How would he still clip me? Hey, I want no damage though, guys. No! Oh my god. He got up so quickly there. Alright, it's okay, everybody. It's okay. We're back to where we were. Let's hope that's the last of them. Slight, slight miscalculation there. But we're back on track. We are back on track. What up, Ada? Want to walk a little faster this time? No. Okay. Nice. That's fair. Where'd you get that? Borrowed it. Anyway, we're almost there. That's cool. I'm cool with that. What am I doing? I just want to flip, flip that lever. I'm all sorts of discombobulated now. Took that death. Weird. I had delay on my own stream for a second there. Weird. Haha, <laughs> beat you inside. Alright, nest. Round two. Fight. This may be a one way ride. This tram is bound for nest. Do not exit until the final destination. You know what I was thinking? I can't wait for the FBI to raid Umbrella Headquarters and take Sam. ID wristband. Acquired. Alright, I predict we're not taking a death this time. For your safety. Stand clear until the doors are fully open. Lawyer because safety, usually, I don't take a death there. The that was pretty uncharacteristic, if I do say so. For your safety, stand clear until the doors are fully welcome to Nest. Enjoy your visit. Okay. I wonder where the G-Virus is. Grabbing the map for you once again. Can't forget. I shall never forget the map again. Uh, once I accidentally pressed the wrong, the wrong button, so I didn't take the bracelet from her, and I had to reload. That's so fucked. I didn't know that was a thing. That is so fucked. Thank you. Oh my god. No problem. I'm not forgetting now. I'm not forgetting anymore. I'm grabbing it just for you. All right, we're gonna. Do we're gonna keep a health item on us now. I think I think that's I think that's the play. Uh hold on. Nope, can't. I have to put something back. Doing the math in my head, I just realized that. Uh I don't need the shells. I don't need the shells with me right now. That is so fucked that if you don't take the bracelet, I've ne see I've I've never done that, but that is so fucked. I did not know that was a thing. All right, I'm just gonna kind of speed around this section because I don't feel like taking another death. What up, buddy? See ya. I don't know why I didn't just do that the first time. It's so much easier. The only reason I bring the Magnum to this section, you guys will see in one second. There's one reason and one reason only I bring the Magnum. You might know. In fact, you probably do know. 
this motherfucker right here. See ya. And that is why I bring the Magnum. Uh oh. This one hurts. Not gonna lie. This one hurts because I have to burn two shotgun shells right now. I have to get the regulator. Womp womp. It's whatever though. Alright, chat, we made it past that part. We're officially in new territory. Dr. Lee, your presence is urgently requested. Your presence is urgently requested. Now I can put you away. Grab the chemical flamethrower. Put you away. Reload. And we're off. Oh, this place is so good looking. Like, oh, it's so... They did such a good job on this game. Hardcore speedrun world record is 52. 52 minutes. Wow. Something tells me I'm not on that pace. <laughs> Uh, but man, 52 minutes? Unbelievable. My best time on this game, I think, is somewhere around, like, an hour 30. And that was on standard. Doing even just sub one hour... Shortest run is like four hours since I assisted. <laughs> hey, you know what? Everybody plays the game at different speeds though, you know? Fuck the Ivies. Everybody plays the game at different speeds. So, you know, that's just part of it. My first run of this game was, I think, like nine hours. So, you start somewhere. But I couldn't imagine doing it that fast. Like, oh, wait, wait. Okay. I was just really tripped out there for a second. <laughs> I was like, I've done this more than a few times. <laughs> Something's not adding up. But I just had it the wrong way. Okay, chat. Another puzzle coming up here. Let's see let's see some predictions on the synthesizer. How long does the synth synthesizer take me to complete? The synth synthesizer puzzle. Solution to match cartridge capacity. Didn't mean to do that. Meant to do that. Three minutes TBH? Well, just finished it. So far, I've been beating Chad's predictions on the puzzles. Kind of surprised myself, though. Usually, I struggle with this one. I'm surprising you guys and myself. Nice. Hold on. Hold on. Can't forget. The map. Don't worry. From here on out, I got you. This is why I take a grenade here every time. 
Kobe. <laughs> this guy always gets up for one final breath. But who knows why. Okay. Let's hope I don't take a death here, shall we? Or, let's hope I don't take a death here. Because this, this is always very scary. No! Okay, we're good, 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 we're good. I'm okay, I'm okay, I'm okay, I'm okay. No. Holy fuck. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh my god. That was scary. That was scary. Man, that was crazy. But again, if that's Claire's grenade launcher, none of that happens. None of that happens if it's Claire's grenade launcher. So that's just a fact. When liquors die to acid rounds, they look like toddlers on enchant rooms. Oh my god, that's the perfect analogy for it. They like get up and then like they have like their little fit and then they have like a heart attack. They're like a toddler throwing a fit and then having a heart attack right after. <laughs> Laughing emoji. It's facts though. It's facts. That's the funny thing that like, everybody knows it too. That's just 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 a known fact. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go grab the final side pack of the game uh, because. Um, it's a must for the for a boss fight, uh, for Super Tyrant. I hate doing Super Tyrant with low inventory. It's just a pain in the ass. And now we have your favorite part of the game, the signal modulator. Yay is right. Because this is also my favorite part of the game. Also, I need to remember to grab shotgun shells. Next item box trip. Nice. Nice. First one done. Mr. Everywhere. Or Mr. Raccoon, rather. And we move out. Zombie still in there? There's somewhere in there. Let's see. Eh. They're probably chilling. They're chilling. Oh, grab shotgun shells. And we got large gunpowder. Sick. Uh, uh, shotgun shells. Grab fuel. Reload the 40 shots. Put the, wait, what? Put the fuel away. Put the green herb in here. Grab a mixed herb. Think we're good? Think we're good, chat? I think we're good. Bring back Mr. X. You know, funny enough, he's actually coming up very soon. He's coming up. 
Yo, five people in here? Yo, I appreciate everybody showing out for real. I love the support tonight. I love the support. Would you rather smash Mr. X or Nemesis? It's a pretty easy one, uh, Mr. X. He's more stylish. Easy. Easy, Mr. X. Mr. X clears. Want to make sure he's dead. Oh, wait. I'm not supposed to be going this way. I'm supposed to be going back the other way. Oops. Oopsie. What about you? Would, would you who would you rather... <laughs> go after. Get after. I think Mr. X is the answer. Maybe maybe stage one nemesis where he has um where he has like the, the wrap around him, like the caution tape, because that's kinda cool. By the way, you're getting killed in the act, so it's kinda up to you who'd you rather die by. Me, I'm taking the guy with the fedora. That's just me, though. TBH Mr. X? Only if his face is covered. See, the thing is, like, Nemesis, though? Like, Nemesis' face is worse, though. Oh, but in, his, in Nemesis' first stage, his face is covered. So, I guess that... Okay, so we either have Stage 1 Nemesis or Mr. X before Super Tyrant if his face is covered. I guess Stage 1 Nemesis, you can kind of pretend like you don't know what's going on. All my friends say Nemesis because of his teeth. He does have... He has good teeth, you know? That's true. That's true. He, he definitely brushes those things. That, that's, that's a true statement. I won't lie. But like, I don't know, like, if kissing is involved, I don't know, it's kind of, I don't know, never been asked this before, it's an interesting question though, um, let's go freeze, let's go freeze the, uh, the P-Epsilon, and then we encounter Mr. X for the last time until the boss fight. Do we kill her? Yes Welcome or no? Back, Dr. Lee. She can live if I let her. New messages. But if I choose, because she does come back to life, Ugh. but I can choose to kill her or not. Who left the freezer open? That's an interesting question, though. Very interesting. Freeze the P epsilon here. Cooling. That was called herbicide. Eh. I think the technical name is P epsilon. Could be wrong though. You shall live to preserve ammo. I find a Leon's playthrough. I run through. I made a Twitter poll, and like 70% 70, 70 say Nemesis. See, that's that's interesting to me. 70% say Nemesis. I don't know about that. That's. Gonna have to check up on those people. Either way, it's a nightmare. Like, that's a thing. Also, if you haven't realized, chat, I don't kill Ivies either. I just kind of down them. Actually, I do kill these ivies coming up, though, because for a popular request, Mr. X will be back.
Here we go. That did All the right. Trick. Everybody in here dies. Warning. You have dispersed a dangerous solution without authorization. Son of a bitch. Everybody on the ground. Oh, no. Oh my god, I have no defense item. No. Oh, you're fucking joking. That's a tough one, chat. I'm not gonna lie. That's a tough one. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna cheat and go to this place on a different run. Because I will redo that on a different night. But... Here's a different one, Leon Hardcore. We're gonna pretend like that didn't happen. Look, this 80. I just looked at the poll, it's 83% Nemesis, 17% Mistrax. How many voters? That's crazy. Brutal? Yeah, that was a brutal one. That was just me not paying attention whatsoever. Oh, wow. I guess I was using infinite ammo this round. What the fuck? What the hell? Uh. Huh. Well, chat, like I said, um, we're gonna pretend like. Oh, it's 25 people? So, that's probably what, like. I guess we're using infinite ammo the rest of this one run. Sorry about that, guys. I do want to get this run done for you guys tonight, though. Um, that's a decent amount. I'd say it's a decent amount. Um, can't test your focus. Yeah, it really does. Um, because it's usually a place I never fuck up on. Like I never fuck up there. But at least I have so many save games. I literally have another Leon A hardcore run. So. But so I guess out of 25 people, if it's so like, let's just say it's 80-20, then it's 20, 20 people say Nemesis, 5 people say Mr. X, but then, so say, add one more to each side, so like 20, like 21 to 4, if I'm doing my math right. Alright guys, we're right back to where we were. See? Sa same game and everything, right? Right? Yep. Right. Right. Did the trick. Right. We're gonna pretend like that didn't happen, chat. I'm failing algebra. You're on your own for the math. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what grade slash college, high school, whatever you're in, but algebra was never my shit. See, I'm in college now and I can choose not to not to take algebra, so I'm taking statistics. This is the same motherfucker that got me last one, guys. At least your speller and grammar on point? True. True. Alright. Per popular request. Hold on. Don't know what that means. Sorry. Just checked my Snapchat. I apologize. Being good English. 
Did the flamethrower don't stun him? It only stuns him if you deal enough damage fast enough. So, like, I usually... It's like 20, like... It's like 20 of whatever this is considered. Whatever ammo this is considered. It does like 20. So... Well, I'm at 2 hours 45 in this play playthrough, so this is an older one. Anyway, per popular request. Shit. He's back. Him again? Guess who's back? Back. Back again. Again. Mr. X is back. Back. Tell a friend, friend. Guess who's back? Guess who's back? Guess who's back? Well, chat, take another death. Wow, good job, Colin. You know what? Let's see here. Do I have a Leon? Before G3? Do I have a Leon before G3? No, I don't. Okay. Well, looks like we have to redo that part. I'm selling at the end here, guys. I'm selling. It's okay. We're pretty much at the end of the game. I don't know why I'm struggling so bad with the IVs. Like, they're just IVs. Back to the English and math thing, like, usually, like, if you're, say, like, not the greatest at one, you're usually pretty good at the other. At least in, at least that's how I've kind of, oh, I, I can use the Matilda. Okay, sweet. Alright, we're back in business. We're so back. We're so back. I'm taking a defense item this time. I don't give a fuck. I'm taking a defense item. This is the last fucking time we're doing this chat. That's a promise. That is a... Whatever my name is on here. A Dacian promise. Even though that is not my name. My name is Colin. If you guys were wondering. But I think I've said it before. So... Yay, first one done. Yay. I want this guy dead. I hope that killed him. I really do. We're gonna hope and pray, chat. We're gonna hope and pray that I killed him. Alright, this is the last time you guys will see me dispense this fucking solution. Because I have a defense item this time, and I'm not gonna die. I played damn near perfect up until this point. Like, damn near perfect. And all of a sudden, the, the part that I think I'm the best at, being the lab... It's like he reads Colin Hoover. I hate Colin Hoover. <laughs> Mr. X is a, does look like a distinguished gentleman, though. I don't lie. You guys need to fucking die. Alright. Here we go, chat. Can I get it one more time? Can I get it one more time? Uh. What the? 
Oh, hell no. You got this? Thank you. Thank you. I did get it this time. Let's go. We're in the clear. We are in the clear. Vamanos. Vamanos is correct. We are out of there. There we go. I don't know why I made that look that hard. <laughs> like, it's not that hard. <laughs> anyway, um, as you both are familiar with this game, we are now pretty much end stage. Hopefully the G sample's up here. I'm gonna burn a save here. I had to G3 because God knows I don't want to die here. I have to redo the P Epsilon again. Whew. Thank God. Alright, thank God it's over. Signal modulator time again. What is it? OSS. Oh, that's not right. That is not right. Here we go. Oh boy. Alright, I need some predictions for G3. How How is G3 gonna go? I have... My prediction is I take... I take damage, but I don't die. I would like the movement of silence before I discard... Like the moment of silence before I discard the, mo the module silence? signal modulator. I will give it a moment of silence. Once got the first aid spray. Alright, moment of silence. Thank you for your service. You'll do great with G3, I have faith. Let's go. Alright, let's see. I do have a pretty good strat for G3, so I am I am confident. I have a good Leon strategy for G3. I I have a very good idea of what I'm doing on G3. So Alright. Now back to Ada. I have faith. You guys have faith. We're gonna get this done. We're getting this done. Uh, put you away. Don't need you. Need you. Don't need you. Don't. I do need. Do need you. And then save game and then grab bag no ammo. I'm gonna keep that save point because it could come in handy. This is my first save ever on this game, and I refuse to save over it, so I'm going to go over this one. Yeah, Grab the mag ammo. Moment of truth, everybody. Moment of truth. Alright. Let's see... Let's see here. Take a second. <sighs> Alright, here we go. Alright, first two eyes done. Fuck! How did that not hit? Alright. And then we just fry him. Just fry him. Just keep frying him. Ouch. Owie.
Can you take some hit stun? Motherfucker, can you take some hit stun? God. He does not want to take any goddamn hit stun. Uh, uh oh. I need you to jump at me. And we fry him again. See ya. Could have been a better fight. But I also can't complain. That was a pretty solid G3. A few missed shots here and there could have, you know, could have made the run go, or could have made the fight go a little bit better, but ultimately, I think it went pretty, pretty fine. I can't really complain about that. I gotta discard this. Let's go. Okay. I'm happy about that. I am happy about that. Alright, now we have Super Tyrant. Oh, we have, yeah, Super Tyrant, and that's it. What is this? Now, I will let you guys know, I struggle with Super Tyrant the most. I think Super Tyrant is really hard. Potentially an unpopular opinion, but I think Super Tyrant is like really freaking hard. Uh. We're just gonna organize the old inventory here. Uh, I need at least two health items. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Good little G3. First attempt. Here we go. Home stretch. Me too, Curly Pop. He's so bad for no reason, especially when he reaches up and impales you. Let's hope I don't get insta death. Let's hope. Let's hope. I have grenades. Um, I have some grenades, so should help because I like to save grenades for this fight. Um, I don't know it, it always, it pretty much always inflicts hit stun on him. So here we go. I'm gonna burn my last save right here because just in case I don't beat Super, super Tyrant first fight. Don't plan on using shotgun very much in this fight. That was annoying. I won't lie. That was a little annoying.
A little annoying. Just a bit. Just a bit. What's up, buddy? Uh, is this a fucking joke? What up, zombie? I'm just gonna run past you. Final fight, here we go. Use the to Final fight. I think I'm good. I think I'm good. Alright everybody, moment of truth time. Do I first try Super Tyrant? Do I first attempt Super Tyrant Hardcore? Let's see. One, two, three, inflict hits done. Equip the grenades. Flamethrower. Flamethrower again. Quick flash. Flamethrower. Flamethrower. So far, we're getting pretty lucky. I won't lie. Hit stun! Hit stun! Couldn't get hit stun. Couldn't get the hit stun. It's fine. Close calls, no swipes. Yeah, no kidding. Got him. Where did this thing? And that is Leon Hardcore. First fight. Very clean tyrant fight. Only took one swipe. Very, very clean. Shit. And I will let the uh, the final cutscene play out. Is there a G4 or is that only in B? That's only in the B scenario, so this is the end of the game. Nice. Good fight. Good final fight. I'm proud of that <sighs> fight. Can't believe I actually miss her. Can't believe you actually miss her? See, this is the shit we're talking about. Nice. Leon? Hey. There's the noir on Claire. We made it. Just like I said we would. What about the train car fight? Isn't that some isn't there something lurk still? Uh yes there is, but that's only B side, so um don't get to play that. Although I can jump into a save if you guys want to see that. Let me know. If you guys want to see the um, the final fight on uh, on B-side, I will play it for you guys. Or I can play uh, G4 on Claire if you guys want to see either of those fights. Ion shippers want Leon to be the loveless marriage? True. True. Let me know. I will play either... 
I could play either of the the other two boss fights if uh, either of you want to see them. A rank, not bad. Let me know. If you want to do G4 on Claire, you should. Sounds good to me. Sounds good to me. Let me make sure I have a save of it. Ew, why does the emoji look like that? <laughs> load again. I think I I think I have a Claire load of that. Um Claire standard escape the lab. I do. Sick. Oh, Claire 2 standard head to Claire second, head to the last car, and then I gotta go, but GG man. Appreciate it, man. I appreciate you hopping out or popping in and uh check out the stream. I really appreciate it. Um probably gonna be streaming next few days too, so feel free to hop in if you want. Um I appreciate you uh staying in the stream though. Alright, here we go. We're gonna play we're gonna play Claire G4, and then we're gonna load Claire second, and yeah, we're going to we're gonna gonna play these. We're gonna get the we're gonna get the full experience here. What are we rocking with here? Spark shot. Okay. I'm playing hardcore here. Uh, gonna need you. Oh my God, Sherry just scared the shit out of me. Oh my God, I just got the shit scared out of me by Sherry. I forgot that she was there. Oh my God. That genuinely scared me so bad. Sherry runs so much faster than Ada. So much better. Exactly. I agree. Wow, I about to hit a hundred comments on the stream. That's sick. You guys are awesome. Tonight. Stupid things locked. Hold on. Sure, what do you I think I can open it from the other side? Um, no, Sherry's for sure a superior one. God damn it, your tongue sucks. And the zombies can't grab her. Like the Ganados can grab Ashley. True. True. That is so true. Also, let me know what game I should stream next. If you plan on coming into other streams, um, let me know what I should stream next. Um, Resident Evil 4 remake. Uh, Resident Evil 3. Resident Evil 2. Claire side. Um, let me know. Uh, Code Veronica, Resident Evil Zero, Resident Evil One, any of those games I can stream. So if you plan on hopping into another stream, let me know what my next game should be. I'm gonna put this away because I don't need it anymore. Uh, do I run with flame rounds? What do you think? Flame rounds? I'll grab the last two flame rounds. And then I'll grab another health item. Seems cool. Worth a try. Also, you get the minigun for Claire, which is so sick. You get the minigun. Do you have Dark Side Chronicles? I do not have Dark Side Chronicles, unfortunately. That and Umbrella Chronicles are about the two games I don't have. I have one through eight, the mainline games. I have Biohazard, 
Village. I have one through eight Mainline plus Code Veronica and Revelations. Those are the options. Those are the options. Alright, here we go. Let's see how this fight goes. I always start with submachine gun first, pour a mag into it. And I go spark shot. Put some hit stun. Gonna go for it again. Unload into it. Alright, no more. No more of that. What's he gonna do? Flame round. Flame round again. Don't want to get hit by that. Biohazard or CV? Those are always interesting. Definitely. Um. Uh. Hmm. Just let me know which which one out of those two I should do next. I'd be happy to do either of them. It is completely your decision. You're the last one in the chat, and I would like to see what you would want to see. So the choice is yours. Ouch. God, okay. Up to you. I think we got it. I think we got it. I think that's it. There it is. Claire, hardcore, D4. Nice. And now we have one more fight, which I have to reload. I have to do one more reload. And then a little S rank. Do C V because only other person I've seen play it was Block Soup. I don't know if you guys I've heard of them. I've heard of them actually. Um I will do I will do C V next. I haven't played C V in a while, so I might be a little rusty, but I would be happy to do C V. Plan on that being tomorrow around the same time I started this one. Um if you want to subscribe and you can uh, hit post notifications, then um, you can get notified when I go live. Um, definitely, definitely, I will do that because that, I'm actually excited because I haven't played uh, CV in about two, three years. So um, I will be, yeah, excited to do that for sure. Um, let's do. Uh, let's do G4 now. Or G5. G5. G5.
I will have to I will re-download it tonight and I will be uh streaming it tomorrow. Here we go. Why do I have thirty how do Oh it's high caliber ammo. I was like, how do I have this much? Wow, okay. Something tells me I'm doing pretty good on ammo. Uh, what would you say? <laughs> this is pretty funny. Um, well, uh, pretty much going to be using a minigun for this fight. So, this is the last fight right here. I think it's funny how much more ammo Claire gets than Leon and knives. So true. So, so, so true. I always struggle. When I don't use infinite ammo, I always struggle on um, on Leon with ammo. I mean, you saw before I reloaded the the other the previous game, I was almost out of handgun ammo. Also, the grenade launcher is just objectively better. Come on, show me your eyes. There it is. And we just unload. Grenade launcher is my husband. Grenade launcher is the best. And there it is. I love the grenade launcher. It's just superior to the shotgun in every way. We gotta lose that car. And I will let this cutscene play out because it's pretty cool. That doesn't hurt. And that is a GG. Have you play RE6? If you do, then let me know because I love RE6. I will definitely, I will definitely let you know. I have to buy it. I can't imagine it'd be too expensive. But if I do, I will let you know in the form of a YouTube notification. <laughs> but see, this is this is a sweet ending right here. Both of them in the so, noir costumes. Are you guys like boyfriend and girlfriend? No, we're just. Uh, well, we actually just met last night. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that would have been one hell of a first date, though. See, this is actually a believable couple. Look, he might be able to give us a ride. What if it's not just the city? Get Cherry out of here. Come on. They're, they're boyfriend and girlfriend, actually. Damn right. Man, you deserve that. And they adopt Cherry. Facts. There it is. This is a pretty shitty run, though. So I think I have a pretty... I, this is not going to give me a good rank. I think I'm going to get, like, a C. C. Ouch. Ouch. <laughs> this is an old playthrough. This is a really old playthrough, actually. Um, but, yeah, so that was... Bought it for like seven dollars, but it was on the PS store on safe, so I don't know. Gotcha. I bet at GameStop you'd get it for really cheap. Cause like GameStop has like not even like that old games used for like really cheap. Um I bet I could get it for pretty cheap. I I wouldn't doubt that. Let's see. In GameStop we trust. <laughs> Uh, in GameStop we trust. But, I don't have five either. 
I don't have five. Um, I don't know why I didn't play five, but um, hmm, I don't know why I didn't play five. I've played. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go down the list of games I've played. Resident Evil One original, Resident Evil Two original, Re early games I've beaten. Resident Evil 1 original, Resident Evil 2 original, Resident Evil 3 original, I started 5 and rage quit, I don't blame you. I don't like how it's 2 player, I don't like that. I don't like having to work with AI. Um, Resident Evil 3 original, Resident Evil 4 original, and then Resident Evil 0, Resident Evil 1 remake, Resident Evil 2 remake, Resident Evil 3 remake, Resident Evil 4 remake, Resident Evil 7 biohazard, Resident Evil 8, uh, Resident Evil Code Veronica, and I have Revelations, but I haven't finished it, and then, I don't know, I think that's it, but I've platinumed uh, Resident Evil 2 Remake, I've platinumed Resident Evil 3 Remake, I'm like 90% with um, Resident Evil Village, I like 50% with Biohazard, and then all the other ones I just pretty much have one playthrough of. But I've beat Resident Evil Village on Village of Shadows, and then I've beaten Resident Evil 3 on Inferno, which was the hardest thing I've ever done. Resident Evil... Yeah, Resident Evil 3 on Inferno was just... Just so hard. So hard. Um... I don't know why. I've never played these. The Ghost Survivors? I've never done these. I've done the Force Survivor, but I've never done Ghost Survivors. Or Tofu Survivor. You get Tofu Survivor from beating the Force Survivor, but I mainly just did it for the achievement. So, run away. There's Irons. See, this is the girl he kills. Time to mourn. Forgotten Soldier. You know what? I'm going to load up only has two star difficulty, so I'll load this up for the fuck of it. Why not? It's only... what time is it? It's only 10.30, yeah. I do have class tomorrow, but not until 11. See, that's the nice part about college. You can, like, make your schedule whenever you want. I don't know what... Yeah, I'm an only child, so I never really grew up with, uh, with games. That's what makes me so sad. That is unfortunate. I see. Uh, I'm a twin. I have a twin sister, but my mom had a lot of games from. Oh, she used to have her hand on him. Haha, <laughs> fuck you. Um, but she grew up with um, with all those games. So like, I played all the old Super Nintendo games as well, uh, like Super Mario, uh, Banjo Kazooie, um, the old Resident Evils. All those. Like, I grew up on the older stuff. Even though I'm 19, turning 20 in a couple weeks. Um, so, like, I'm not... I'm not super young. I'm not, not super old either. So... Have you played Ocarina of Time? Of course I have. One of the first games I played, actually. I actually have very distinct memories. Palehead? Palehead? I actually have very distinct memories. One of my first video game memories was... Um... My mom playing, uh, Ocarina. Ocarina of Time with, uh, me and my sister watching her when we were too little to play. I've played Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask, um, another Palehead? Oh. Played all those games. I have, uh, I have some of those on my DS as well. Like the remasters.
Oh, you can only choose one at a time. That sucks. Hey, hey, I'm out of you. I've never played this before, so you're kind of uh, kind of learning with me here. I know. I'm just trying to keep the stream going because it's not that late. Oh. That was my favorite thing in the whole world. I love Ari and Cod and MK. Don't know what MK is, unless I just don't know the abbreviation. But I always love Zelda the end day. So I've played let's see, I've played pretty much every single Call of Duty. Um, Mortal Kombat. Gotcha. I've never played Mortal Kombat actually. I haven't played a single Mortal Kombat game. But so it's interesting. I cite my favorite video game franchise as Resident Evil. My favorite game ever is Banjo uh, Banjo Kazooie on the Nintendo 64. I don't know if you know what that is. Then my second favorite game of all time is Resident Evil 2 Remake, the game I'm currently playing. My third favorite game is Ocarina of Time and the Majora's Mask. Um, but out of the Resident Evil or out of the Legend of Zelda games, I've played. Um, Fuck me. I've played. Ouch. I've played the original. So the original Reg uh, Legend of Zelda. Uh, Leg Legend of Zelda Adventure of Link. And then. I've played. Um, the Adventures of Link. Ocarina of Time. Majora's Mask. Um, try to go in order. Uh, Twilight Princess. Um, Twilight Princess. Um, the HD port of Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask to the uh, Nintendo DS. Then I've played. Um, Link Between Worlds on the DS, Oracle of Time, Oracle of Seasons, Link's Awakening DX, and I think that's it. So I've played a good amount of them. And then I've played just about every Call of Duty. Um, I love the zombies. Um, grinded, grinded a lot of those games. Um, I don't know, I've played, played a ton of games. Mostly growing up. What do I take here? Fuel? No, I'll take that high power. Okay. Okay. This is, uh... Interesting. Key from Cod Ghost is actually my husband, I can't lie. Never played Cod Ghost. I heard nothing but bad things about it, and then I never played it. I've only played the multiplayer a little bit. So if I'm missing out, let me know. Because I did not... Everyone hates it, I don't know why. It does get hated on a lot. That is... That is a very, very true statement. It gets hated on. I've played at like friends' houses growing up because some of them had it, but the story is good. The characters are cool. See, like I'm a big like zombies player too, and like there really wasn't zombies. There was there was extinction. Wow, these guys fucking coming after me. Are you seeing this right now? I'm in danger. How is this a... This is gonna hurt. Oh, shit! 
Only bad thing is the ending. I think it was meant to have a sequel. Got it. Yeah, no way in hell Activision was letting a sequel to that game get released. That's for sure. Another key. What's this? It's Mr. Everywhere. Um, my favorite Call of Duties were Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2, Black Ops 3. I slept on opinion. I liked Infinite Warfare. I was a fan of Infinite Warfare. Um, I like. Oh, I grinded the fuck out of BO4. I think I have like 45 days on BO4 actually. Uh, yeah. I mean, like I said though, I played pretty much every one of them, but some of them are definitely, definitely worse than others. That is for damn sure. Just kind of have to kite these guys around. I don't have the ammo to deal with them. But oh, I'm so fucked. I'm so fucked. They played for dance. Oh, Warzone? Uh, a few times. I actually, I'm not the biggest Warzone fan. I don't like the Battle Royale all too much. Um, kind of just like not not my speed. Um, I'm more of like a multiplayer zombies type guy. Combat knife. 50 handgun ammo is probably the move. I could use some health though. Like some health would be sick. There. Yeah, that's why I haven't really played like Fortnite much. Like I, I have Fortnite. Oh my fucking god. Fry these guys. But at the end of the day, my roots are definitely in uh like games like this. Is this girl barefoot? She is. She had to escape irons. No. Well. That was cool. Let's try the other ones. Guy just playing around at this point. No time to mourn, or forgotten soldier, or the tofu survivor. I'll let you decide. Which one shall we play? Tofu survivor. No time to mourn, or forgotten soldier. Already played four survivor, and just tried to run away. So. Ever seen Forgotten Soldier? Let's try it then. Man, 126 comments and consistent three to five viewers in the stream. It's, that's cool, man. That's really cool. Usually, I only pull viewers when I play Call of Duty because of that's where I got my main subscribers from. So that's cool that this got some traction. Oh, that reminds me. Um, where did you find the stream? Like, was it in your recommended? Were you looking up Resident Evil 2? I'm very curious. Isn't that recommended? Sweet. That's awesome for me. Better for me. My videos are getting out there. That's sweet. I do this for fun. Like, I'm not trying to make it a career. But it's just fun for me to, like, entertain people and interact with people, you know? That's what it's all about for me. Oh. 
I love talking to streamers, but it's scary sometimes, social anxiety. I feel you. Ouch, this is gonna hurt. I do definitely appreciate you uh, coming in. It's been fun interacting with you and the other guy that was consistently in here, so. Definitely, definitely a good time. Um, like I said, I just do it to have fun, interact with people, and play some games, you know? Uh, what do I take here? Lightning Hawk, Shotgun, or Grenade Launcher? Oh. I think we go Grenade Launcher. I think that's the play, right? Mag? Oh, I don't know. Because we can craft, we can craft, uh, ammo for the, for the Grenade Launcher. True. Yeah, I think we go Grenade Launcher here. Yeah, definitely not shotgun. Definitely not shotgun. Grenade launcher? Yeah, let's go grenade launcher. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I'm just gonna bypass these guys. Owie. Owie. I stream sometimes, but I rarely talk. You know, if you ever do stream, I'll be sure to uh, I'll be sure to hop in there for sure. Uh oh, I'm dead. Oh my god, I'm not dead. I'm not dead. I would love to know how I didn't die there. Ivy, Ivy alert. Hunk has the power of mass hotness. Well, that's not Hunk. I don't know who this is. To be completely honest with you, I have no idea who this is. Either way, we're alive somehow. Um. Wow. We're in pretty low on ammo here. Oh, I'm missing. Oh, we're dead. We're dead. It was a good run. It was a good run. <laughs> this one does have four star difficulty. Huh. A for effort? Exactly. Wow, three people right now, 137 comments. It's probably my best stream in a while. No time to mourn? Let's try let's try no time to mourn. Might as well. Keeping keeping the night rolling. Just having fun. I do have to do some reading for school. For my English class, but I could do that tomorrow probably. Kendo story is so sad. I know, it is really sad. I'll probably knock out yeah, I'll probably knock out the reading tomorrow. I don't feel like doing it tonight. It's a negative. It's a negative. Because fuck. Oh, this don't like the the poison. avoid you guys. I do have to check if my grade got released for my assignment though. Which will only take like two seconds. I'm actually gonna do that right now. You're live right now we're checking if my grade was updated. What do you think I got? If it did get updated, what do we think I got? I think 
my computer would load. That'd be sick. A B maybe? Damn, no faith. I don't know. I don't know how this teacher grades. This class literally just started today. I don't know how it grades yet. See, I don't know if I submitted it correctly. That's a thing. That's what's scaring me right now. Ew, a grade on the first day? Yeah. Red flag teacher. He's one of those, like, try-hard type guys, you know? Like, he recently just, like, graduated college and... Not recently. Not recently just graduated college, but, like... He's a try-hard. And even though, like, I'm in college, it's like... I don't know. It sometimes... Sometimes doesn't feel like it. <laughs> with some of the people I deal with. Alright, here we go. Oh, the notification. Great updates. January 30 slides created. But did he grade the assignment, though? Why did he just... Why did he just put this out? Like, what? Grades. Okay, don't know why this is... Oh, this... Oh, this is so weird. This gra this class is great. It's so weird. Alright, this is the feedback he wrote to me. <laughs> I'm exposed myself right now. Got 100%, so that's sick. Um... Thanks for your response, Colin. I think the essay procrastination is something to which literally every person has ever been on a deadline can relate. From high school students to college students to college professors and even professional writers, hopefully the approach we, t we take to revision of this course will help you build some new helpful habits and strategies you can take with you through OCC and U of M and beyond. Appreciate it, Professor. But he did release it. I did get 100% on it. First grade goes in as 100%. Nice. All right, feeling good. Feeling good right now. Alright. Nice. Nice. Now I can continue with the stream with zero worries. Which is always such a fire thing to do. Like, congrats. I'm proud of you. Thank you. I appreciate it. I try very hard at school. Um. Nice. Well, you know that feeling where, like, you just get, like, a lot of stuff done or whatever? And then... And then, like, you, like, are, like, you know you're good for the rest of the night or whatever. That's how I'm currently feeling. See if we hit the pack here. Mm. Oh shit! Oh, oh! Get you, get you, buddy! I have a problem with procrastination, but I know how you feel. Yes, and I don't know if you caught in the response he gave me. Uh, it was about, so like it was about, it's an English class, and he like asked me my relationship with writing, and I told him that, I was straight up with him. I have late homework right now, but I'll do it tomorrow. I feel you. Um, but I was talking, but I was told him straight up, I'm like, I'm a procrastinator when it comes to writing. And he was like, you know, hopefully the way that this course takes you helps you, uh, build new habits, stuff like that, so... I'm a procrastinator too. It wasn't it wasn't until I got to college that I started to like really um like really take it serious and like stop procrastinating, you know? Um but it took me until college to to realize that. Um 
And a poison. Motherfucker. Ouch. Oh my god. He didn't he ain't alive. Like once I started Oh my god, I'm on whew. Once I started college, I really realized like I don't know, you have to like really focus up. Like you can't just you know do what you want to do. Cause that's what I did in high school. Cause like I just like did what I wanted to do. What should I create here? More more shotgun shells. Uh even more shotgun shells. Thought that was a dude for a second. But even still in college, I still struggle with not doing homework on time sometimes. It's just a part of students, to be honest. It's part of going through school, you know. As much as, like, I wish I didn't, or as, as much as anybody wishes they didn't. Praise is health items. Sweet. There's just too much work, like, I'm sorry. So true. That is so true. Like, here's the thing. Like, if I... And, like, once you, like, you kind of, like, get behind, like, it just feels like you're in, like, a hole. You know? Like, you can't, like, you can't really get out of it. At least that's how it is for me. Like, it all just like kind of like, piles up, and then it's like, all of a sudden you're like, have a bunch of stuff due, where like a bunch of stuff becomes late, and you're like, how did this happen? Like, do I take the do I take the red herb here, or do I just I'll take green and yeah yeah, yeah. I think that's good. Oh wow, lucky headshot there. I I know particularly in high school. Cause like, let me tell you this. I was out of school for a while because I was super sick and got behind. So now I just feel bad. That sucks, like when you get really sick and then you fall like super behind. Yeah. No, that's so true. Um but I don't know like what what grade you're in or what level of school you're in, but high like high school for me was way harder than college. Like college, there's so much more like you have so much more freedom. Like I talked about it earlier in the stream with like making your own schedule. But it's so true. Like being able to make your own schedule, being able to like kind of like go at your own pace, like. Not exactly go at your own pace, but... But just like, I don't know. And like, I, my classes are only like one or two times, uh... Like, one or two times a week. Like, I have two classes that are once a week, and then I have three classes that are twice a week, so it's like... I don't know, it's just... It's just more... Like, more time for homework, more time for studying, more time to be more prepared for tests, you know, stuff like that. I want to do pre-law, so I feel like having my own schedule would be nice. Gotcha. So are you, like, are you, like, in high school still, or, like, are you first year of college and that's what you want to go into, or what? If you don't mind me asking, of course. I'm just kind of curious now. Pretty lot sweet though. I'm going for business myself. No, no, no. I have nothing. I have nothing.
Yeah, I'm in high school, but I've had his plan since grade five. Oh shit, I'm so cooked. Gotcha. Yeah, well, my best advice for you would definitely be, um... When you do get to college, like, just make a schedule that, like, you know that you can follow the best, you know? Um... And just... I don't know, you know, like, go at your own pace. Don't stress yourself out. I might die to this poison. That kind of suck, huh? All this just to die to poison? Oh, there's a vending machine. You're fucking with me. Well, looks like I'm gonna die. It's been a, it's been a fun run. Thank you for the advice. No problem. I hope that it will come in use one day. Man, can I catch up? Can I catch a break? They're not giving me shit right now. I don't know. Like for me, like the advice I just gave you was the stuff that worked best for me, because I was a I was a major procrastinator in high school. Like it was so bad how badly I procrastinate. So. Ouch. 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 I'm not dead. I'm not dead. Oh, now I'm dead. There's just no way I survived this. Yeah, I'm dead. On the Tofu Survivor, I guess. Huh. Huh. <laughs> guess I got a thing from it. That's cool. Um, but yeah, I took, like, my first semester of college, I took, a, like, a few less. Uh, hmm. I'm kind of curious what this is. Um, costumes? I tried being for Survivor, but I kept dying. I've done it before, so I'm going to try to, uh, I'll try to, um, try to run through it. These are my results, by the way. Guess my best time is only two hours. Eh. Whatever. Um. Bonuses. I'll try to beat. I'll try to beat four survivor. Let's see if I can do it. My best time is ten minutes. Let's see. Let's see how I do. Um. Like my first semester of college, I took less classes just to like kind of get in the like groove of things. But now this semester I'm taking five classes, so it's just like it's just different from high school. Like I, I like it a lot better. Alright, here we go. Let's see if I can do it. I'm at point K twelve. Need info on my extraction. There's a specific yes, way you can do for survivor where like you use different a ammo at like different I'm times and it's like uh Yeah, okay. Pick you up there. Got yeah, so I know you always you pop the first guy with the mag and then you stun this guy with the handgun. I didn't realize it. This gives you aim assist. Four survivor gives you aim assist? What? Since when? I don't know that. Uh, if you ever do force survivor, this is a trick right here that you can do to completely avoid enemies in this room. Um, you just hug the wall and they'll always miss you. Pop this girl with the mag. Use the knife on this dog. You have to kill this dog, though. 
because now you can grab the knife back. I had a dream earlier where I was in RPD station with Ashley, but I went down to the sewers. With Ashley? Yo, that's kind of crazy. Holy shit, you see how many dogs? That was kind of crazy. That's such a weird dream. Like, like cross, cross, uh, cross game with Ashley. But what character were you? Or were you just yourself? myself but then we got to got to the elevator that's in the end of RE4 and Nancy for Stranger Things was there. That is a bizarre dream. I'm not gonna lie, that is a bizarre dream. Interesting though. Very interesting. I don't know how I, I don't know how I just avoided that. That was kind of sick. Holy shit! There's an old guy too. I think I was his granddaughter. So bizarre. I don't know. It's been a it's been a while since I even had a dream or remembered the dream. Because apparently you always dream, but it's just like whether or not you remember it or something like that. I think that's how it is, right? I don't know. I'm not a psychology major. Although I am taking a psychology class. And I took psychology in high school. They call me a psychologist. So far we're killing it though. We're doing pretty good, huh? I say we're doing pretty good. I remember all my dreams, TBH. I just write them down, so I think I've been trained to remember them. You know, that could be that could be uh, that could be something. Um. I don't have any dreams or crazy dreams, but I have some crazy stories, like actual stories. I have a few dreams, I think. Nothing like... Nothing too crazy, though. The hard part of this game mode is, like, when you get to Mr. X. Because Mr. X, like, kicks my ass. Like, I'm having Baldur's Gate brain rot. So it's seeping into my dreams. <laughs> Zombie dog. Oh shit, I don't know how I got away from that. That was kind of sick.
you want to tell me a crazy story, I'm listening. Hmm. Let me think. Let me think of the craziest story I have. Oh my god! This guy just came out of nowhere. Jesus. I never saw him. That sucked. I did not want to have to use that flash grenade there. Let me see. Let me let me think of uh, a good one. Okay. I think. I did that kill me? Oh my god, I was about to say, if that killed me, because he yelled like that killed him. Like, he yelled like that hurt. So. See how well I can tell this, see how well my storytelling skills are while playing this game. Fuck. 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 I think we're good. I think we're good. I might, I might get shot by Mr. X here. Okay. Alright, we're good. I still think we're good. Okay. That sucked. That sucked. Anyway. So, me and my friend are, uh, we're going to um, visit this abandoned, like, mental hospital, okay? What the hell, and uh, it's like, tw like 20 minutes away, whatever. Jesus Christ. Can't catch a break in this bitch. I'm trying to tell a story here, guys. Damn. Wow. Alright, I, I will hold off on the story until I'm either dead or completed it. I think that's a good effect. I think a Mr. X is up here. Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. I don't know how I just did that. I don't know how I just did that. I think there's pale heads in here. Oh no, it's ivies. Wow. So far I'm having a really good run. Uh oh. I just jinxed it, huh? <sighs> We're almost there. But I fear my fear might be true. I don't know if I have enough shit to get through this. Wow, I'm actually so close to finishing this. <gasps> what the fuck? Poison me. He's gonna poison me. Go. No. Yeah, he's gonna poison me. Okay. Okay. Come on, Colin. Come on, Colin. 
Get my car. Get my car. Get him off me. Get him off me. No! 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 I was so close. I was so close. I was so close. And it was a good attempt. Anyway. I'm just gonna load up a random save. Just play casually. Why? Elaborate on the story. Alright, so me and my me and my one friend were going to this like abandoned mental hospital, right? And it's like it's dark out, it's like probably eleven o'clock at night. And this is like it's supposed to be like this like abandoned mental hospital that, like people go to explore, right? This was a year ago? No, nah, like, probably like eight months ago, very beginning of the school year. And you know, we just kinda went there assuming that we were gonna, you know, like, just explore whatever. Like, we thought our biggest issue was gonna be cops, right? And so we get there, and we have to, like, traverse through part of a forest. And we get through, like, it, uh, you enter through, like, side streets. Sam and Colby era. <laughs> um, you, we enter, you enter through side streets, you enter the forest, and then you have to go through like a mile and a half of like forest and it's like in the clearing. Anyway, we get to where we get to the clearing and we hear like this banging noise. Like it's like it sounds like dun dun dun. Like it's all like, almost like somebody's knocking. And we're like, okay, that's interesting. Whatever. We kinda just figured like maybe other people were here, like other people were like at the thing, you know, and because, like, it was a popular thing. Like, everybody knew about it. And so we just figured that, you know, some people were here. No problem, right? And uh, I'll slow the save. I don't even know what this is. So we go off from where, where the clearing was. And there's, like, this dirt road that leads to the other side of the road and then like splits off and like right down the road it's like a half mile down this road inside the forest mind you is like it's like a dirt road not an actual road is like where the place is so we get like half like a quarter of the way down I'd say a quarter a quarter sounds right and I'm just using infinite ammo <laughs> fuck it <laughs> um because this is just a chill thing, well, we'll be chill. And so we get about a quarter of the way, and I'm thinking, whatever, like, we're, we're doing this, we're running too deep, and like we start hearing like the banging again. And we're like, okay, whatever, like it's just banging, whatever, maybe kids, maybe, who knows, homeless person, who knows. So we get like a little bit further, and we see like this red light. And I'm like, okay, from a really, really, really far away distance, it kind of looked like a red dot from, like, a gun. But, like, it obviously wasn't. But, like, we, it, we just, like, notice, like, the red. Like, that's that's the important Jesus. thing. Open and up. Hurry. Open up. we get Open about probably like, halfway there. And it's, like, it starts to, like, illuminate the area. And... A trick there. And it kind of starts to like illuminate the area of where we think the mental hospital is. And, you know, not thinking too much of it yet. Like, not even close. But like, probably a homeless person lit a fire. Because like, some homeless people may like to hang out around here. You know, who knows? And. Now we're like a quarter of the way there. And like we hear like this music and like now the light is like pretty bright. Like it is bright. And we're about probably 15 maybe 15 maybe 16 like feet away from like the gate. And we can't really see what it is, but like we can tell there's a giant fire going on. Like giant fire. And 
we're both at this point now we're like kind of freaking out. We're like, what's going on? And so like, I'm trying to like set the scene the best I can because it's kind of hard. But going down the big walkway or big pathway, and there's like trees on both sides. And then right at the end, there's like this clearing where the building is supposed to be. And we get all the way to the clearing and we like peek our heads out. And right when we peek our heads around the corner, we are just like absolutely like shocked. Shocked. We look up and we see like first of all we see like this hut. Like we like this is not this little like makeshift hut. Again, like we're still just like thinking homeless people at this point. We are gonna turn around no matter what, because like homeless people can be aggressive, like you don't know what they can do, stuff like that. You know. Not really not not really gonna mess with it either way. And uh, we like we look up and we see where the fire is coming from. And, like, I bullshit you not, it's like a 20 foot, like, burning cross. And we were, like, just, like, completely stunned. Like, what the fuck? Like, we thought it was, it was like, some, like, I don't know, like, satanic ritual. Like, I don't even know. And then there's people around it. And they didn't see us yet. But we were, we were like, we gotta go. We gotta turn around. We like tap each other like we gotta get the fuck out of here, and we get up like we're on like a knee trying to like look up, and then like we like dip. And the second we start running down the path is like they get up and they start to follow us. We don't know who these people are, what their intentions are, what they're capable of, but we're like, oh shit, like we fucked up. And then we get like halfway down the road, and my our car is like three miles away from us at this point. We get we get like halfway down the road, and my friend is calling our other friend to come pick us up, cause like we need we need backup, we need somebody to come help. And um, as he's doing that, I notice he kind of slows up. And, like I turn around to see what he's doing, and I see like the people like on our ass like, they are on our ass and you know what? I'm gonna switch to Claire because it's probably probably more fun and like so like they're following us so it's like oh shit like we like have to go and uh, we get up so remind me never go to a bad place with you good idea good idea so we're like full on sprint now. It is a full on sprint. We need to get the fuck out of here. It is like, like we have to get out of here. Like straight up, we gotta get the fuck out of here. And um, we hit. So like, remember how I told you there's like, um, there's like, it's like a, the pathway that like led to the road and then it like, like branched off to where the um abandoned uh mental hospital was so we start hitting the road now and these people are still on us we get to the road and like they stop right at the road and we look over we see them don't know who these people are but we like duck behind this bar that was now we're on the main road we made it to the main road we're waiting we're telling our friend he's on the phone um we're waiting for him to get there he's like 10 minutes away because he's coming from my friend's university he's like 10 minutes away as we have to keep, but we're like, we have to keep moving. We don't want these guys to come out and gain on us. So we're going down this road, and out of nowhere, we see this truck with their lights turned off going like a hundred. Mind you, it's like, it's like a 45, and he's going like a hundred up and down the road, like looking for us. And we're like, oh shit, like this is, this is not good. And then we keep running, keep like ducking into the forest, like periodically, and eventually we get to like the crossroads where we tell him to meet us and uh, he uh, at, just before he arrives like one more they double back one more time like speeding down the road I mean our hearts are beating so fast like everything is just going at like 100 miles an hour Look, we man. jump in the car we get in we get out of there and we just like sit there and we're like what the fuck just happened it was to this day probably the craziest experience of my life like, I don't, like, 
I don't know what exactly we saw. Like, are you okay? I obviously know what we saw, but don't know what Wait it was, here. what I'll they were doing. And then, like the, the the crazy thing about all of it, like despite the fact that we saw it, like they like don't came after us. Closer. So like, and like who knows what? Like we were in the middle of the forest. Like who knows what could have happened? Like it was. I mean, probably the like, top three scariest worlds of my life. Not even close. But I don't know. I, I tried to try to tell the best I can. I kind of got a little bit distracted trying to play the game, but I don't know. That was probably, like, definitely, if not the craziest, one of the craziest experiences of my life. Attention, all citizens. I would genuinely start crying. <laughs> it was like. I mean, I can't even, like. Like, the adrenaline just kicked in, and just we just started, like, just bolting it down this road. And mind you, this is, it was like a couple miles that we had to, like, just straight dead sprint. It was like... It's like the end of the world. I mean, crazy, crazy, crazy. I mean... It's only like the beginning of an RE game. True. Police station. Almost there. You know, there's a computer game. It's called Fears to Fathom. And it's based off of like true stories, and I plan on submitting that story to the game. So hopefully I can kind of get like a mini game based off of it, which would be so sick if I could. But so I plan on submitting that story to that game. Um, but yes, craziest, craziest experience of my life. I mean, I don't think I've ever ran so fast in my life. The second we got into his car, when we were done running, everything was like settling down. Like, I felt like I was going to throw up. Like, we... It was, like, the mixture of, like, anxiety, Focus. adrenaline. Focus. Every... Every imagine... Everything everything imaginable, like, coursing through your body. And then, like, it all, like, stopped. Like, the second we got in the car. And... We, like... Me and my friend, like, we... Then we... He drops over our car. So we could go back. <laughs> Fears to Fathom is so scary, I can't play it. Yo, you know what that is? That's so cool. Um... But yeah, that's where oh. I plan on submitting. I plan on submitting Hurry. that story to that game, and hopefully they accept Open it. So. But so like once we got back to his, uh, once we got back to his dorm room, we uh, some people were there, and we looked like we just got hit by a bus. Like, we looked like shit. We were like heavy breathing. And they were like, what happened to you guys? The hell is up with you? And we explained it to the people that were there, and they were like, nah, bullshit, like, we don't believe you. And we were like, we just explained to them everything again. So and, like, the people that came pick this up were like, yeah, like, there was a car, like, going up and down the road like that. And they were like, holy shit, like, you guys aren't lying. And we're like, no, like, that's, like, I mean, haven't gone back there since. Like, haven't, haven't done anything like that since. It was just uh, un unforgettable and scary as fuck. But yes, that is one of that is one of my craziest stories. There's others, and I can tell you some more if you want. But that was that's the that's the big one. But, you know, it's a, uh, it was definitely a, uh, definitely a fun one to have in the back pocket when people are like, yo, like, what's the craziest thing that happened to you? Or like, do you have any like, crazy stories? Like, that's, that's the go-to right there. If you want to tell me go for it sweet definitely so next one uh, was when I was also the map oh my god you're so right I come back to it I come back to the room though don't worry I will still get it. I come back to it I will come back to it don't worry 
you're dead. Okay, so the next one takes place when I was about 16. So, for reference, I'm about to turn 20, so like three and a half years ago, I want to say. Like, like summer of my junior year of high school, I want to say. Um, but me and my friend were hanging out, and we were at the park, uh, just playing basketball, whatnot, doing normal 16-year-old stuff, and we were like, yo, like, we're gonna play some basketball, whatever. So we start playing basketball, and this kid shows up that, like, we don't like. Like, we don't like this kid anymore, like, we used to be cool with him, but, like, this kid shows up that we did not like, right? And so we immediately, like, dip. Like, we leave, right? And uh, we kind of left in a hurry because we just kind of didn't want to be involved in it. You know, like, nothing crazy. Like, we didn't, like, didn't want to start anything, you know? And we get, we get, like, right to where, like, the street is from the park. And, like, he starts, like, running after us for some reason. And this guy was, like, he's known to, like, have, let's just say, like, like weapons on him, and we didn't want to risk it. So, like, same human beings, we start running, okay? And, like, for some reason, he's on our ass. Like, you know, whatever. We're faster than him, doesn't matter. So, we are like, yo, yeah, like, let's hop this fence. And the fence that we hopped happened to lead to the hospital that we live right by a hospital and it happened to lead to a hospital now it was just a parking lot but you know like one thing about hospitals is they happen to have security and the second we hop the fence into the hospital uh, we see a car roll up on us that was security now you're probably thinking like bro strawberry Hello, Rose Strawberry. How's it going? Um, glad that you popped out to the stream. Right now, we're just playing some Resident Evil and telling stories. So, if you want to join in on that, uh, I'd be uh, more than happy to have you. So, welcome. But, uh, doing fine. How are you? Good. I'm doing real good. Just a casual Wednesday night, playing some Resident Evil. And uh, tell some stories and just having a good time, you know? Anyway, um, thank you for showing out. I really do appreciate it, by the way. Um, so, uh, we get. Um, so, now this hospital, the hospital security, like, starts to roll up on us. Like, they got the lights on everything. Being stupid 16 year old kids. My friend and I are like, yo, like, we gotta run. We gotta dip. So, we get up and we start to run away. And we figure we're gonna hop the fence and it'll be fine, whatever. And, you know, we were kinda right. We hop the fence and the kid is waiting for us. And we're like, huh, that's weird. Like, he's still waiting. He was like waiting for us to like, come back. So, now we're running away from him again, whatever, not a big deal. We start to go down our, our street, like, we start running down the street, and there is now police circling the block looking for us. And we're like, oh shit, like, we kind of messed this up. We kind of messed up here. And so we, uh, we continue to run. Now, at this point, we're, like, hopping neighborhoods, we're, like, we're hopping fences, we're, like, cutting through lawns, like... We were just trying to get the fuck away from the cops and this dude. Like, and this dude who we don't know what he's going to do. So, we eventually, like, we circle all the way around. We weren't that far away from my friend's house, but we circle all the way back around to get to my friend's house. And we finally get there. Mind you, like, an hour has gone by. We've been, like, circling the block, like, doing all this shit. Cops are on us, like, hey, I, mind you, we're on foot, like, completely on foot. Cops are on us, this kid is still on us. At this point, this kid has gotten on his mini bike and is now following us on his mini bike. We're, like, cutting through neighborhoods, everything, to try and get away from him. We finally get back to my friend's house, and his mom is like, what the fuck happened with you guys? 
And we're just like, ah, you know, you're just outside playing, whatnot. And we like look out the window, and the cop like goes across the street, like is like driving across the street. And she's like, you guys like wouldn't have anything to do with that. And we're like, no, I'm like not at all. Like what? That's crazy. And we kind of like lay low for the next couple hours, and uh, I eventually, I eventually go home. And then we get like this mysterious text from like an unknown number saying like you better not like you better not pull that shit again. Like next time it's gonna be a lot worse or something like that. And so like me and him kind of like stayed inside for a while. But that was just one of those classic running from the cops and running from somebody that was after us. It, I mean, a lot, lot of running. A lot of running in these stories. And most of it is due to my and my friends' not smart actions, but it makes for good stories, so... That would be story number two. Nice. Oh, I think the zombie's still alive. Yeah, it's still alive. People are honestly scarier than ghosts. Very true. Very true. And, like, when we got that text, we were like, Oh shit, like, 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 oh shit. And we, we were like scared shitless for the next like two weeks. And, you know, eventually like it all blew over and it's just a story now. But man, it was scary at the time. Map, there you go. There's your map. There's sec there's a second floor. I told you. I and I will go I'll make sure I get the one. I'll make sure that I get the other one. Don't you worry. Yay, thank you. You're very welcome. From here on out, I vow to get all the maps. Also, Claire's noir outfit is the main reason I got the Lux version for this game. I freaking love Claire's Noir outfit. So Elliot was right. I think it's just the coolest thing. Yeah. Also, her yeah, Elsa Walker yeah. is pretty cool. Um, I've never used her Marine outfit. I've never, like, I don't know, I never really, like, thought that one was all that cool. But, um... I don't know, do I, should I do a pick up everything run or just like a normal run? I won't finish the whole thing tonight, probably not. Um, I don't know, I'll probably end the stream when like people start to leave. Like when you leave, I'll probably end the stream, so, you know. Because like when everyone leaves and like there's nobody to hang out with, like, that's kind of like, you know. Uh... What is this one? Six, twelve, two? Wait. I got this game on sale too because I got a PS5 for my birthday. That was in December and everything was on sale. Um, that's sweet. That is awesome. Six eleven two. Thank you. I knew it was one of those two. Oh wait, what am I doing? I was not paying attention there. Um, I I'm playing on a PlayStation. Wait, what? Okay, six, eleven, two. The fuck? Hold on. Let's 
try this again. Hold on. All right, we're gonna go. Wait, we're gonna, we're gonna try doing it the other way. One, two, three, four, five, six, two, eleven. I think that's it. I think it's six, two, eleven. Yeah, I think it's six two eleven. Yeah, there we go. We're good. We got it. But that's sweet. You have a PS five. I am completely jealous because, funny enough, I just bought a PS five. I got it for my friend, and it was bricked. It doesn't work. So, I don't have a PS five anymore. I'm back on my PlayStation, my PlayStation four. But my birthday is in. 18 days and I probably won't get a PlayStation 5 but the money I get for my birthday I plan on using to buy a PS5 a new one because not doing the used one again fuck that the scepter I don't why I hope you get it same. I, I definitely will. I mean, I have the money to right now, but I have the money to, like, currently, but it's just one of those things that, like, I don't know. I just kind of want, like, extra money to buy it. Like, I don't really want to use, like, my savings on it, you know, but I don't know. I'm kind of getting impatient now because, like, I had the PS5 and everything, and, like, I was so excited to play it, and then, like, <sighs> couldn't use it. You just pick up everything in the station when you come back from the sewers. That's true. Yeah, 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 I can just do that. I'll just, like, get everything, like, I need to right now. Um. That's fair. I get one out of my leftover. Yeah, especially because, like, gas, insurance, like car shit pretty much like that type of shit exists so I need money for that <laughs> but um um yeah and recently fucking sucks but like recently I had a car accident so I need to get my car fixed and that's gonna cost some money too so probably not the best idea to be spending like money that should probably go to my car like on PlayStation 5 so when I get like extra money that's for sure what I shall get is PlayStation 5 because I really want to map map don't you worry got you this time we're done forgetting we're done forgetting Uh, dark room. Forgot the gunpowder in the dark room. Probably got hit by a millennial. <laughs> That's funny. I hate millennials. Yeah, so true. It was like, um, I don't know. The whole, the thing, like, it, it was a result of, like, the weather. It, you know, it's like, because I live in Michigan, and, like, it's pretty, it was pretty shitty weather out. Like, the whole situation just kind of sucked. Like, I don't know. But it's whatever though. It's part of life. Like I'm still young. Like I pretty much everybody has an accident. Like I don't know. It was annoying though. It was definitely really annoying and like a freaking just like you know, like not fun. Not fun. Wasn't a fun experience, you know, like why well, shit. But whatever. There's another story. <laughs> story of me getting hit. I live in the south. I'm jealous you have snow. I'm jealous you have it warm. Like, if you were to look outside right now, snow. I live in Michigan. And it's... It's, uh... There's snow. There's snow for sure. Um... But, south, like, it's always warm. Like, you get to have the warm weather, like, year-round. But I get, like, wanting to see snow, though. But, like, definitely at times, like, it's, like, 20 degrees right now. And, you know, I just want it to be warm again. Like, <laughs> you know? But it is what it is. 
I, I like Michigan. I'm in Tennessee. Don't be jealous of me. You know what? I, I was actually in Tennessee this summer. I was... Uh, I stayed in um, Myrtle Beach for a week. And then on the way back, I visited uh, Tennessee. And went to University of Tennessee, Knoxville. And then... Yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. But... I saw, oh, Smoky Mountains. That was pretty cool. Um, didn't didn't go to, like, Nashville or anything, though. Just kind of, like, checked out the university, and then, like, when we drove through, we saw, like, the Smoky Mountains. Still have some videos of that. It was pretty cool. Uh, why do I still have this SMG ammo on me? Also, I'm going to grab the grenade launcher right now, because why not? I'm close to Austin Pay, so all the college kids are here. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> I live like um or Austin P. I don't I don't know how to pronounce it exactly. <laughs> but um I live so I live in like Metro Detroit. It's like like twenty minutes outside of Detroit and um I live like forty five minutes away from the University of Michigan. And then I live like um, an hour from University of Michigan State, so I'm not like not like directly close to them, but like you know. But like I feel like living in like a college town or close to a college town kind of be annoying. Like just like having to deal with like all like the all their like college kids and. You know, like, you know, I don't know. Like, I feel, I feel like it could be, it could be annoying at times, but again, I wouldn't really know. Uh, fuck. Yeah, I'm in a town. The town of sucks in general. Yeah, it's that's unfortunate. I um fifty two shot. Fuck. It's <clears throat> annoying. Nice. Yeah, I live in a really, really, really small city, so I kind of just everywhere I lived before it said snow. It's a weird change. I bet, yeah. Where uh, where else did you used to live? Like up north, like like um, like Michigan, Minnesota, Wisconsin, something like that, or like I don't I don't even know where else gets snow besides the north, honestly. <laughs> Colorado, Arizona mountains, and then Montana. Damn, you live everywhere. That's kind of that's kind of crazy. I know some people that go to Colorado, I know some people that go to school in Arizona, but I don't know anybody in Montana. Montana is just one of those places that's, I don't know, you don't really hear much about. But, huh, interesting that you've lived those places and now you're in Tennessee. That's kind of interesting. Definitely a change of pace though, I would, I would imagine. Seems like it. Montana sucks, everyone is mean there. <laughs> yeah, fuck that. I would hate living in a place with like a bunch of mean people. Like, everybody just be nice to each other. Put the film away. Colorado, Arizona Mountains. Arizona Mountains, though, that's kind of cool. I have happened to live in Michigan my entire life, so I don't really know much else. I know snow, uh, the weather changing all the time, and I'm moving again though, so I didn't find. Damn, that's a lot. Where are you moving to now? <laughs> like, that's crazy. Hey Marvin, this is Bat. 
That's a lot of moving. That, that has to be. That has to be like, like suck. Like Marvin? no other way to put it. Like that's gotta like suck. Marvin, are you there? Marvin? God, you gotta be kidding me. Oh! I did not realize that this guy. It's between Wyoming and South Dakota. Damn, so you're going like back up. Back up, like north. Interesting. That's a lot of moving. Like for like your parents' work or like. I don't know. I wouldn't really know the reason for that. Gotta make sure nobody's behind me. Holy shit. Oh no. Alright. Fuck you guys. Oh, my grandma, and she's retired, so that's why I keep moving. Gotcha. That'll do it. Yeah, I, I've i not experienced. Uh, when I was five, we moved, like, cities, but, like, you know, yeah, that's just moving cities, you know, like. But I hope that the next place you move, you're there for a while, because all that moving just seems like a ton. But like, at least you get to experience like new places. My uncle convinced all my family to move here, and that's why. I... Wait, convinced all my family to move here, and we hate it here. I got it. Oh, that sucks. That like, he convinced you to like go there, and then this has to be the last time. I swear to God. No, that like has to be the last time. Like this, this, this is it. Like, like, you just gotta be like, yep, nope, I'm not moving anymore. Like, we're done. Done moving. Cause that's just, that's just the time. And like, you're like, you all, you like have to move schools and. Go through like that whole process and. Like, that just like has to suck, you know. Are you serious? But like, if there is a bright side, you know, at least you get to like see different places and experience like that type of stuff, you know. Because like I've been in Michigan pretty much my whole life, and like I never traveled much, so. Fun fact, I haven't stayed at one school for more than a year since third grade. Wow. That is mind blowing. High school, so that's at least ninth grade. Fuck. That's. That's. That's just. That's just wrong. Like. <laughs> Like, you can't, like, make new friends, like, you can't, like, you can't form relationships, like, when you do, or if you do, like, it just, like, has to, like, 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 suck when, like, you have to leave, like, it's just, damn. Since third grade, I've been at school for more than a year. Wow, that's, like, hard for me to fathom. I've literally been in the same school district my entire life. And then I literally go to a college that has, like, some of my friends still. Like, that's crazy. But, man. 
yeah, I definitely, I hope that, I don't know how much of high school you have left, but I hope that the rest of high school, school, whatever, you are able to, like, stay there for more than a freaking year. Because that's just, that's just wrong. Fuck you, lady. <laughs> oh, I should probably make sure she's dead because I don't want to come here when Mr. X is around. And then, like. You want to just die? That'd be great. Are you dead? She's dead. Alright, sick. I did preschool twice, so it was preschool in California, preschool through beginning of third grade. Okay, I did preschool twice, it was like preschool in California, preschool through beginning of third grade, and one school in Colorado, and switched to online school for the rest of third. Man, online school for third grade? Fuck. Damn. Here's a... Uh, finally get to use gr Jill's grenade launcher. Oh, I miss. I suck. All this talk about using the grenade launcher, and I do that. Yeah. Yeah. you move to California again temporarily with my cousins with my cousins and did half of fourth then other half of fourth in Arizona half of fifth in Arizona other half in Montana wow that is so crazy I can't imagine I just can't all that moving I mean I can like imagine like you know, a move or something like that, but that's just a ton. Stars off this main hall. Yeah, I mean, I hope wherever you land on next is part of sixth in Montana, but also did online there. Then we moved here, but I switched four different times since we got here. Shit. Even when you, like, find a place, you still switch schools four times? Man. That is just brutal. You can't catch a break. Can't, can't catch a break out here. Alright. I think, I think he'll be dead. Side pack. Because we're playing standard. We get the little side pack there. Still trying to wrap my head around that. Don't hit me.
That sucked. I thought I was good. Guess not. I have to go to bed. <sighs> I'm sorry. No worries. I definitely appreciate you staying here and hanging out. It's been a it's been a good time. Definitely. Um I will be live again soon. Probably tomorrow if you want to come back. But it was a good time and I definitely appreciate you coming out. Hope you enjoyed the stream. All that good stuff. Um and yeah, it was good talking with you and hanging out, playing the game, you know. It was so fun talking to you. I'll come back when you're live. Sounds good. Sounds good for sure. That it was yeah, great, great time talking with you. I always like Good luck in class tomorrow. Thank you. I really appreciate it. And that was a two hundredth comment on the stream. Wow. That is a personal best for me. Wow. Thank you. I will <laughs> do my best in class tomorrow. And then I'll probably be live tomorrow night playing Code Veronica. So thank you again for coming to the stream. It was great talking with you. And I will see you in the next one. And it's also a good place for me to stop anyway. So it all works out. Gonna knock out Birkin. That was a good stream. That was a really good stream. Three to five consistent viewers. 200 comments. Man. All on a game that doesn't really pull views for me. Also, anyone else in here, I also appreciate you being in here and watching it and hope you enjoyed the uh, the gameplay as well, even if you weren't commenting. I hope that you were still having a good time. Ouch. On that note, anyway, everybody, thank you so much for coming. Anybody that's left in the stream, thank you so much for coming out. Um, it's been a pleasure. It was absolutely a great stream. Everybody that came out and enjoyed it, um, you guys are goats. Um, again, great stream, everybody. Thank you, thank you, thank you for showing out and enjoying it. Um, more streams in the future. Tomorrow will be Code Veronica. Um, and yeah. Just going to put this in the chat. Tomorrow around 8 p.m. Eastern Eastern Standard Time Resident 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 Evil Code Veronica X Thank you everyone for coming out. Heart emojis. Alright, that is officially it for me. Signing off.